Hello folks, and welcome back to Games We Never Play. I'm your host, Jameson GM Mace. Back again, I have missed everyone here. Here for some Shades of Gotham. Tiny Supers, repurposed, rebranded, rebuilt. To be leaner, meaner, and a lot fatter. I mean, it's not really that lean. Ah, I'm just going to stop talking. <laughs> Let's go around and introduce the table. Starting to my immediate left is my good friend Nick. Hello, everyone. My name is Nick. I am playing uh, Eddie Sislak, better known in the Gotham Underground as Manticore. And uh, he is a teenage runaway who is infected with a techno-organic virus that uh, sometimes talks to him and makes demands, but has also made him incredibly strong and tough at the cost of those demands. And that's pretty much his deal. Uh, he's, oh, I'm sorry, he's, not, he's doing it for the money, and he's doing it so he can get his sister out of the system. Oh, that's sweet. To his left, we've got Joey. Hey guys, I'm Joey. I am playing uh, Noah Dawkins, aka Dodger, the ex trust fund kid who is forsaken his rich family to bring down the 1% of Gotham and redistribute the wealth to the people who need it. Like him, he needs it. Give me money. Send me money. Give it now, please. Money, please. <laughs> um, but yeah, he is, he is trying his best to make Gotham a better place by robbing the rich and giving to him. Uh, and may also start being a romantic foil for Nightwing, question mark, winky face? I'd ship yeah. it. I'd Why not? It. Why I mean, not? I'm, I'm not going to say no. Let's hope the dice agree with me. <laughs> Someone else talk now. <laughs> uh, joining us also is Nikki. Hi, I'm Nikki. I'm playing Lynn, though her her name is quite longer. Uh, she is a demon escaped from hell. Um Unfortunately, we're going back to hell this session, which she's not very happy about at all. Um, but, you know, you got to pay your debts, right? So. All right, you got rid of that glowing rock for you, so. <sighs> Up to yeah, it. supposedly getting, getting it back to Superman, which he still hasn't done. But, um, you yeah, know, maybe some, maybe a pomegranate for Ivy. We'll see how it all works out. <laughs> I mean, you are going to frame Ivy for, you know, that one dude getting turned into a shrub, but yeah, whatever details, details. I mean, I wasn't framing; it was actually true. It was her stops. <laughs> you guys put him there. Okay, well, either way, you can't blame the fire. Uh, also joining us, last but definitely not least, Michael Holmes. Hi, everybody. I'm uh, Michael Holmes. I'll be playing RX, who is you know you're just everyday rogue chemist who tries to emulate superpowers with pharmaceuticals who's been having some <clears throat> interesting experiences now that his body has metabolized enough of a certain drug so he can adjust his size. He's not quite got it down pat. And uh, yeah, that's, I'm sure, going to come up in this episode. Um, but you know what? I, I hear hell is lovely this time of year, Lynn. So I, I think I think we're in for a treat. Nothing possibly could go wrong. No, especially I, when you've got John Gottstein with you. Yeah, no, it's going to be great. I'm not worried. I hear it's a dry heat. So <laughs> he's basically a good luck charm, right? So yeah, nothing think, bad think, ever happens. I think hell probably would be very humid, and that's what would make it even more hellish. Oh mm -hmm. god, that'd be the worst. <laughs> the fire there, and it'd be a wet heat. Oh, oh, oh god. Yeah, anyway, sorry. Oh, check out. <laughs> you know all that, all that, uh, the the four rivers that surround hell. Of course, yeah. if there's a wet heat. That makes total sense, yeah. And the mosquitoes. Don't get me started. Oi. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're the size of people. They Is were that your people. secret, Lynn? Are you actually just a hell mosquito? <gasps> no. Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Can I change my character concept to hell mosquito? Yeah. It's <laughs> name of my new alt rock band. Hell, hell Skeeto. Hell Skeeto. Hell, hell Skeeto from Doritos. <laughs> So, oh, who wants to recap last session? Jeez. <clears throat> I know, it was eons ago. If not, I well, can. Let's see. I went on a really awkward date where I started out too small. So, I was wearing a kid's suit, and then I grew to normal size. So, the suit got kind of buff on me. Um, like, you know, the reverse of what happened in Tom Hanks and Big. Um <laughs> and uh had to leave pronto and other other people did things too 
Uh, well, I do have a note here for our t-shirt list with the quote, I'm the hostage Moyle by RX. Um, so that was really fun. <laughs> that um, is something I said, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, so what I remember is, uh, well, Dodger was real upset about what happened with his family, about how he completely disappointed his father, which is always a great time for him. And so to mask his feelings of inadequacy, he got really drunk and tried to mug people, uh, which went terribly. Uh, it? it was not great. Uh, they then decided to check in on their hostage and found out he'd started growing bark and leaves and becoming all plantish, a, basically a tree pole. Uh, and uh, we decided maybe it wasn't a good idea to try to you know, ransom him off to get money off of this deal. And when Dodger tried to go back and get the ransom note, they had already found it. And that was bad news to everybody. And uh, in that adventure, he was uh, headhunted by Nightwing to be his partner. Partner. Um, which took Dodger by surprise. Uh, also made Dodger realize he just stopped going places alone because weird shit happens every single time. Uh, we got back. Lynn decided to set up the... Uh, transfer of the hostage for the money with Commissioner Gordon at the Gotham Bean, which was perfectly located right by the restaurant where Arx was having his date. Um, she also decided to try to talk to Ivy about changing him back, and I'll let Lynn describe how that went, because it it sure did. It simply just told her that he was like saying it was all our fault and i was like well you know if you're not going to help us we can't give you like what a million dollars so we'll just just tell them it was you <laughs> and i think it went pretty well all things considered oh yeah she so took she, well doing that she kicked lynn out uh lynn was alive so i guess it went well yeah um we did the exchange uh, Nightwing, as a sign of good faith, gave Dodger the antidote for Ivy's whatever she did to the, the hostage and managed to get that to the cops as well as getting the money in him and Lynn out. Uh, the entire time, though, Manticore was in this weird cocoon situation. It was real cute, and by cute, I mean disturbingly disturbing. Uh, we got back to the hideout after getting the money to John Constantine opening a portal to hell. Something is now is the time we need to go. Lynn and I are there. Manticore erupts from his cocoon, looking strangely normal. And we don't know what that's about. And I believe we were waiting on RX before venturing to the depths of the underworld. So, you know, an average whatever night it was. Absolutely. I'm, gl I'm glad that someone recapped that because I was racking my brain to figure out what happened in the recap and all of the stuff I remember because I watched the episode afterwards, mm. but I forgot that I was in the cocoon because I wasn't there for that <laughs> session. So I'm like, what was I doing when all of this happened? Where also, was I? I? Oh, right. What, what it's worth, I believe it was a Sunday. Yeah. The party because... was a Saturday, right? Mm -hmm. You're right. It was a Sunday. You're right. He got married on Friday. <laughs> Oh, so we are going to die on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we did it. Sunday is always the best time to go to hell, right? It is. Well, it's it's not as crowded. I don't I don't know. Let's hope anyway. heck is empty and all the spicy boys are here. <laughs> well, well said, sir. Well said. So yeah, Constantine <laughs> has the portal open. He tells you uh that yes, you have a few hours. He looks to you and says uh you're looking good, mate. Have a good nap. Yeah, we, we jumped in as I remember like right when I was We're about to. We're on the, the precipice. Yeah, okay. Um yeah. Yeah, wait, what what wait what 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 happened? You look I was, great there, darling. She pats you on the shoulder. It did it, did everything work? I mean we're, we're how did hell, we get right? home? We're, it's fall fine, don't worry about it. We're going to hell, so if you want to tag along, feel free. Are you wait, are you feeling okay? You were in that cocoon thing for a long time. Wait, I what I was? How how what what did I miss? What happened? Well, um, the hostage got turned into a plant. We got him to turn back. That was after uh, Lynn insulted Ivy, and now she's probably going to be after us. 
we got the hostage oh, shit, back really? into a human. We yeah. got the money for him. Rx, I hope, is doing okay. He's on a date. He'll be fine. You should go, though, because this portal is only open for a short time. Well, yeah. are we going to grab Rx? Or, I mean, said, I know we said we'd go to hell, text. but... Yeah, that's all right. We should get him. Hold on. And he snaps his fingers, and Rx, you, the chair, the table, or at least half the table, appear in the far corner of the Australia. That's me. I just want to... The fuck? What Hello, just mate. happened? Thank you for joining us. That's that's what I want to know. Whoa! What why the are hell you just up? happened? You, you're you're up and you're talking. What's going on? I I feel fine. What are you? I don't know what you're. Why is everyone freaking out? I'm not freaking out, darling. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I I didn't want to point that out right away, but uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But it's a thing that happened. Hello? You, you Hello? You hear no voice. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted. I, Go ahead, I don't... <clears throat> Dodger hit me. What? I'm not going to hit... You just... No, I'm not... No, no, no. Hit me. Lynn will punch you. <laughs> uh, am I uh, still armored? You am are. Am I still resistant? You very much are, yes. Okay. Um, I, I, I think that. I think that rock made the. I think that rock made the voice go away. That's something, I guess. But what is that portal doing here? By we're any going, chance? We're going to hell, darling. You remember this. I didn't think that was today. Well, I'm Lynn. sorry to interrupt your date. It was not my fault. And you, she glared at Constantine. Miss Lynn, you hear a voice inside your head. Oh, dear. No. It sounds like a, a large cat stretching out and making itself known. Mmm, that was delicious. Ooh, where are we going? Sweetie. Bye. Oh no, I ignore it. I ignore it. <laughs> um, 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 she looks a little flustered though. Um, we should go. We should go now and get this over with. We don't want to talk to me. Oh. That's so rude. Mm, pouty face. She'll think back, um, like, not now. I don't know who you are, but now's not the time. Oh, I was the one trapped in that damn rock, but thank you for letting me out. Yes, I figured that. I don't know who you are, though. Mm, your, one of your hands uncontrollably like, runs through your hair without, you know, Lynn, your are, are we getting, are you speaking out, is Lynn speaking out loud? We're only getting half the conversation? Or She's is this talking all... internally. Okay. She's talking internally, yeah. Ooh, that's fun. I can take part of the control. We'll see how this mm. goes. Do we, I mean, look, I, I, I know we said we're going to go to hell, but like, I'm, I'm, do we have to go now? I'm I'm back. Evidently, I mean, we should we should hurry. Um, we should definitely go now. We should jump. Hands, hands. We have to take your hand. It doesn't hurt, but it could. You know, you get I, lost. Well, I'll put it. I'll, I'll why would take I one get, of his hands. Why would I get lost in hell? Yeah, I'll take his other hand. Like, let's just get this over with, Lynn. And I'll take Dodger's hand. <laughs> she takes no one's hand. Okay, good. I love that. I come back around to uh, Dodger's other hand. Look, I don't know <laughs> Sorry, a lot about magic. Hand. I don't know a lot about magic, but I have a really bad feeling about this. Yeah. We're going to hell. What do you have a bad feeling about? Uh, you know, take your pick. Okay. Is this like hell hell, or is this just like a really bad place? This is hell. Darling. It's it's the real, real hell. It's the real place. Real hell. Yep. You'll end up there one day. Permanently. I don't, but I don't, I don't, okay. I mean, that seems awfully, I don't believe in hell. hell. Well, it believes in you. Let's go. You're, 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 yeah. you're and he lurches forward. The momentum grabs and yanks everyone mid convo. Uh, and you fall. And it's actually closer to Bill and Ted. They actually had it right. Who knew? It's like a silent black fall. 
and then suddenly a cacophony of noise, screaming, and torture. Again, they had it right. Well, Wham. Uh, hmm. Everyone lands. Uh, as you look around, you see that Lynn is nowhere to be found. I rolled for it, and you did not land with the party. Who knew? At least I know my way around. It's like, ah, back home. All right, Constantine, uh, apparently our guide decided to go their own way. Do you know your way around hell by any chance? Oh, don't say my name out loud, mate. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, number one. Number two. Eh? Great. See, nothing to worry about. What would you prefer we call you, sir? John is fine. There's a lot of Johns in hell. You'd be surprised. The Baptist oh, is down here. What about John Wayne? Is John Wayne down here? Absolutely. He's got his Are own you little. Kidding? <laughs> I don't have time to list his sins. But yes, but yes, he's here. All right, John. Well, can you lead us to the part of hell that you kind of know? Ah, uh, yes, I can. But I'm very wanted there, so we should probably work on finding Lynn. Lynn, Great. you've arrived somewhere yeah. that you've been before. This is the. Uh, the eternal suffering pit. Um, it's just and a DMV. Visitor center. <laughs> yeah. And gift shop. And gift shop. Uh, everything is just more than you have in your pocket. It's like fourteen fifty, and you've got fourteen forty nine. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'd really cool to get that. I just don't have enough. I remember using this to torture before. And everyone is like in a very straight single file line. It seems to just zigzag back and forth. Uh, there are demons running about, you know, offering people, hey, do you want a map? Do you want a uh, coupon code uh, for a free, you know, back massage when you get in? Everyone's trying to, like, sell them something. What do you do, Lynn? I'm going to walk up to one of the demons as long as I don't recognize them. Uh, okay. Hey, so, so, so. Sofa pit group on here. Everyone get your sofa pit group on. Yes. You don't want to have a sofa pit all by yourself. You gotta have a group on so you can go with your buddies. I'm and, just imagining everyone, what... if it's, if you're gonna be here forever. You want to be with your friends. Tell me, group Thank on here. Thank you, Nick. You have volunteered as Bubby, <laughs> Bubby the Demon. Hello there. Hey, hey, you, you want a group on? No, no, darling. I'm looking for John Constantine. Um... Whoa, hey, what the that uh. You know yeah. that John Constantine is very valuable in hell, and if you can get his soul and hand it over, you can really move up the ranks. Uh, but Lynn seems awful familiar. She doesn't have a new meat suit, so she looks the same as she did in hell. Like, you can't place her. Hey, uh, yeah, no, uh, Constantine, that, that's that's uh, that's great. Uh, you, you got a line on him? Uh I might. I'm. I'm just. I'm just looking for. I. He might have landed somewhere around here. I had intel that he might be coming for a visit. So, you know, some oh, nefarious well. reason or a holy reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't the H word. I'm. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not a big fan. Um. I know neither. Am but I. uh. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, I. I can. Uh, I, I can certainly help you find him. I'm. I'm sure. Uh, I know. I know a lot of people around here. Uh. You know. Everybody knows Bubby. Uh, oh, that would be great. Yes. But, uh, <laughs> uh, what's, it. what's your uh, what? What's your name? I'm Bubby. Uh, Lynn is quite all right. Lynn, Lynn. All right. Um, did we go to uh, the DMV? Did did, did you used <laughs> to work at the DMV? I I didn't. Um, I think you are con confusing me with my my sister. Or did I? Did I take a did I take a lift and you wouldn't shut up? Oh, I did work that job for a while. It it but you know um it got terribly boring even for me. So I changed to um you know yeah, maybe. Um, just, I, just, you, you I changed really... I changed to the Karen's apartment for a while and then mm, yeah and then, and then I switched back um you know those things Lynn you get the feeling that the longer you talk to him the, the sooner he's going to be able to narrow in on where he knows you I'm not telling actual things oh yeah but he's racking his 
edict memory and like, hey, I've been in hell a long time. I know all the faces. What? You the demon like is lying? The deuce, you say. Uh -huh. What? Uh, you know what? It's 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 going to come to me. I know what, I I know we know each other. Uh, say, so, yeah, you're uh, pretty sure the longer you stay here, the more you yes, interact with the demon. Um, I, yeah, this is most important to you. Yeah, what, did, did I stand right behind you at Pink's and cough on your shoulder? <laughs> yeah. That's not God important. What is important is that we found John Constantine. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, yeah. So you, you said he's coming to hell, huh? Where? Where's where? Uh, you, you know where he's headed? Nearby. If if you don't have a lead on him, I guess I'll just have to look for myself. I mean, you could always go to your no, supervisor, no, no. I can, buddy. I can... I'm sorry. What? Uh, you can always go to your uh, supervisor. No, 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 I can, uh, like, I, I, you know, I, I can, I can, I can help you find him. Uh, I, you know, I definitely can. Uh... Are you, are you, are you, are you his ex? Oh no, why wouldn't I cavort with the likes of him? Uh, okay, yeah. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to place it. Um, if, but if you, yeah, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I'm going to reach out to some people. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to make some calls. We're going to help you, uh, track down that, uh, that, uh, Constantine guy. Like, uh, mm -hmm. he's, he's a real problem. You know, a winged demon that might be able to help you out. Oh. Yeah. Um. You know, I think, uh, I think, uh, Gargas, Gargas. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to call like, Gargas. Do I know he's, Gargas? He's, he's an eye in the sky. You, you do know Gargas. Gar you, Gargas is kind of like the person you go to for gossip. Uh, who wants to play Gargas? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. My name is Gargas. Mm. Um. Uh, so, uh, in hell, it's all AT&T. You so don't get connected? Oh. So after about six attempts, uh, Gargaz's phone rings. <laughs> Gargaz. Hey, Gargaz, it's Buzzy. Hey, Buzzy, how goes it? Hey, uh, I was wondering if you can uh, do do me a solid here. I'm uh, I'm I got word that uh, the big C is coming down. Cancer? No, 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 no. <laughs> Everyone's catching no, no, it. No, no, no. Someone. <laughs> No, I, I see it's even more irritating. Constantine. Constantine! Teen, teen, teen. Quang, 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 quang. We hear yeah, it in yeah, the distance. Yeah. So listen, listen. I got someone who's looking for him. We're trying to get a line on him. Uh, should be should be showing up uh, any time here. Uh, you, you seen anything? Not yet, but now that I know that Constantine's here, I've got my eye on nothing else. Now... Now, Gargaz, you know that if he's going to get anywhere, you're going to keep an eye on him from the sky. Uh, mm -hmm. Bubby is going to make sure to look on the ground. But if he tries to cross the river Styx, you're going to want to call Sharon and make sure they've got an eye on that. Why don't you uh, go ahead and let Sharon know what's up? Is yeah, that picture of, like a woman named Sharon? Oh, yeah. No, that's that's everyone just pronounces it wrong. It's just Sharon. Hi. You want to get across the river? Well, hey, that's two points. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> going to need two pence. <laughs> Wait, I see. I, I actually think that the H is silent and it's just Karen. <gasps> yeah. Mm hmm. That tracks. Uh, I'm going to miss you all, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Garkaz, uh, <laughs> you should definitely reach out to Karen and uh, yeah, let, let, them know to, let them know to watch out. Oh, am I doing that? Yeah, you're Gargaz, aren't you? Okay, sorry. Mm, what did get my network? Yeah. Ah, I perched on a tower. <laughs> yes, I can't hello. Put my mood any higher. Ah, Sharon, it's Gargaz. Oh, Gargaz, how lovely to hear from you. How have you been? How do you think I've been? Busy? Yes, some of us have a real job. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, freelance eye in the sky might not be as glamorous as a fairy person. Is that the correct term these days? Yes, thank you for correcting yourself after the third time. Well, I need to be a better ally. I understand that now. Just no, no, we're not monsters. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We're Republicans. 
<laughs> you know, hell it has a really strict hierarchy. We all want to make sure that we're minding our P's and Q's. That's right. Um, <laughs> listen, I have something that you'd be very interested in and a very important individual who might be headed your way. Make it snappy. You know I have to get back to work. This queue is forming up, and they get so rambunctious when there's a line. I get seasick. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Hellblazer. Are you serious? As cancer. The big C. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the other big C. Correct. Fascinating. We don't know where he is yet, but Bobby told me that he has someone who would very interested in finding him and seems to make it worth one's while should they track the Hellblazer down. I like where this is going. Maybe it might get me out of this stupid fairy for a change. Mm. All right, I will keep an eye out. You do the same, and perhaps we can bring him in together. Oh, I'll keep an eye out. Never mind that. Because <laughs> I'm just a giant eye <clears throat> yes you're very clever i'll let you get back to work uh text me later bye and then we cut back to the main group standing at the visitor intake for hell uh the lines are long of course but they are actually moving pretty briskly you know they're very efficient in hell and getting people processed and in no problem uh, there's a large gate in front of you, but of course, turnstiles to the left and right that many people are filing through, much like Disneyland. Actually, it looks like Disneyland in hell. I was just about to say, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got to get through the turnstiles. Once we're in, I don't know, maybe she might be in Tomorrowland. All right, John, do you have a way of getting us in where we don't actually get processed through hell? Yes. Yeah, I'd like to not stay here if, if at all possible. I don't want a hand stamp. Oh, oh, no one wants a return trip, of course. He reaches in and pulls out um, these fingers, these uh, decrepit, like mummified fingers with long nails on a string. And, well, on a necklace. Here, put this on. And as soon, what he... the what the fuck, dude? <laughs> it smells awful. But you turn into uh, an approximation of yourself as a demon. It's a glamour. Don't worry. Do these on you know anyone's fingers? You know, but they'll do. Do you just job. walk around with fingers in your pocket? I'd rather have them in my pocket than anywhere else, mate. I don't want to think too much so about much. that. All right, give me give me one. Oh God. Hands over oh. you. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, there you go. You look more like Joseph Gordon-Levitt's, but you know. It's just, just more him. Yes. Than else. Oh, no. <laughs> I look like Joseph Gordon-Levitt in Looper, where he was trying to look like Bruce... Uh, Bruce Willis? Bruce Willis, yeah, with a prosthetic chin and nose. <laughs> and yeah, anyway, I, sorry, let's move on. I couldn't stop looking at him and be like, John Hamm? No. Yeah, yeah something like that. Uh, so, so the way that the way that uh, Manticore looks is it actually kind of replicates what he used to look like, except that the parts of him that were covered in metal are like spiky chitin sticking out, and they cover more of his body. And then the other part of him that would normally look uh, human, it, it looks like uh, like a, a zombie mummified corpse thing. Uh, slack jawed so he's like dead skin but then like you know three quarters of his body is like this spiky chitinous monstrous uh, form okay nice and uh, I think Dodger has looks more gaunt than he usually does um, because I'm going to be fancy because it's me there's there's some horns happening a little a little horn action um, kind of ram horn-esque not full Lin but close in that vein um, with some Dark red eyes. The better to see through hell with, my dear. <laughs> of course, of course. Okay. Uh, and Constantine, uh, just he looks uh, almost like the the devil you see on the pack of the uh, the Lucky Devil cigarettes. So he's got the the mustache and everything. 
it looks a little cliche and you're like oh it's kind of tacky bro but whatever Constantine's kind of tacky bro right <laughs> you um okay I had what? a Halloween costume that looked like that once oh, well, you make do with what you got just saying you took the good one okay so now that we're demon bounding what's the next plan well we get in there we find your friend and uh, they should be able to get us through the gate um, of lost souls. From there, I've got to find my friend Chaz, and we can just, you know, hop on out of here. I've got this nifty little rune, and he pulls out a, a clay uh, tile. We snap this. Bob's your uncle. We're back home. Okay, that sounds easy enough. I mean, how hard can it get to be get to the well of lost souls? Right? If only we knew where she was. Excuse so. me? Well, we don't really know where Lynn is. I... Let's just... Uh, I need a churro. <clears throat> there's, a, there's a little <laughs> demon walking by with churros. Eh, hey, churros! You want churros? <laughs> and it's 49 50 It's very expensive. That sounds about right. Yeah, yeah no, that's Disneyland, all right. <laughs> <laughs> So you get processed through turnstiles. The uh, demons kind of all give you a once-over as they pass you through. Before long, you're, you're inside. There's families taking pictures. Um, big archway to the left. A train coming through. All right. We're in. So that's the hard part. Uh, now we just got to find her. And that's going to be trickier. Jump back to Lynn. Uh, as you've kind of gotten your bearings now you realize yeah you know where you're at and you've got a pretty good idea of where the party is yeah so you also know that constantine is a huge bounty like so if you were to turn him in probably make yourself a pretty penny maybe even get yourself a free pass out of here with your friends maybe Maybe but for now she's gonna try backing away, um, and just like while he's on the phone, she'll just kind of like. <laughs> Give me a stealth check to see if uh, Bubby notices you. No, Bubby is Bubby is uh, keeping an eye on the on the prize here. I got a six. You got a six. Okay, she blinks away. She does one of those teleporter things that she does. <laughs> hey, 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 uh, Gargas, you, are, are you back? Hold on. Uh, uh, I, 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 I'm sorry. I was going through a tunnel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> listen, uh, uh, the 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 uh, the lady who was asking uh, looks looks really familiar. She just uh, she tried to skip out here, so she she's part of our ticket to finding Constantine. Yeah. Uh, uh, do I remember anything else? Like, do I do do I have the check of recognizing uh, Lynn? Yeah, go for it. Okay. I got a six. Okay, yeah. It it clicks. You're like, oh, that's Lynn. That's you have her true name. And you've worked with her before. Manuel Miranda. Lynn Manuel Miranda. <laughs> that's what so it is. Her true name is Lilithine Vargo Sara Bragadoran. Miranda. Right. I'm very proud of yeah. you, Nikki. That's that's Welcome. great. I have it written. <laughs> Oh, donkey awful! Oh, uh, you you know who it was? Who? It was that name. That name. <laughs> what? No. Yeah. Oh What's man, she we got going back here. We got it. I got it. I got to find her again. I mean, her and Constantine. Oh my god! Like, can you that imagine? That sounds like a princedom, don't you think? Oh god, I gotta call Sharon about this. Hold on. Let's see if we can get her on the line. Oh wait, did are are you still there? Don't put me on hold again. I hate it. You know how much I hate being put on hold. Hey, Sharon, it's Bubby. Oh, goody, a party line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, listen, listen. We're looking, we're looking for Constantine, but also, uh, Lynn, blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> Lynn, blah, 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 blah. Would they yeah. really know my full yeah. That? She, she's back. Oh. They're demons. Okay. Demons have that kind of information. So it's mortals that, like, yeah, you'd know theirs. Okay. That brazen. This is delicious. 
You know, if we get both of them, we could get ourselves quite the promotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed. We could possibly move down a circle. Oh, I've always I, wanted to see the lower circles. I want to be a rhyming demon. I'm sure that's a good fit for you. <laughs> well, I can rhyme so very well. I rhyme all day down here in hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> Excellent. That truly was torture. You might do well here. <laughs> um, good. So let's let's expand our search. I'll begin sending the other Karens, my legion of Karens, uh, to be uh, looking along the riverbanks in case they try to do any kind of wading through the river or, or find a way around me. Yeah, yeah. I'll get all the. I'll get all the. Uh delivery drivers and uh and uh uh ride share guys looking for it they're all over the place always peak hours <laughs> i figure wherever the hell blazer is he's going to be causing a stir so i'll just try to find the area of hell that is the most yep uh, upheaval at the time I don't know. Come back to me. I'm going to figure something out, but I'll keep you two posted. Very well. Perfect. This as, is a as big a... day for all of us. <laughs> the demons are scheming. Uh, Lynn is fleeing. So yeah, you know that uh, you're like one sector over from where, you know, Constine and them should have landed. I'll have their post haste, but not trying to be like too hasty. I mean, like I don't want to be like too stick. I don't want to stick out too much. Okay, so. you want to be inconspicuous. Sorry, right. it's no problem. But I am, but I am still in my human flesh suit, so you know. But they can tell I'm a demon. Like I don't want to be mistaken for a human. Ugh. But um, <laughs> right, they'll pull you back in line. You don't want to have that. Yeah, like, fast pass. I'm good. No, no. Copy. So, All right. Yeah. Go ahead and give me a check to see if you're able to locate your friends. Do I have advantage on this? I'll give you advantage. You know hell. I have this idea of like. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. One success. I got a five. Okay. Yeah. You, you spot them in the distance. I'm, I'm telling you, she wouldn't be near the log flume. When I splashed you with, with Pellegrino, she got really mad. I'll teleport next to them. Okay. Hey! Ah. Uh, uh, sorry about that. Little what are you? <sighs> She's Why smiling. Why don't you look like this? Oh dear, I don't. I don't want to get out of my flesh suit right now. It's a whole process. I mean, not that much of a process. I'm just lazy. So follow me. Wait, where are we going? Actually, I'm sorry. Uh, we need the, to go to the uh, Well of Lost Souls. Oh, there. All right. Yes. I, assume I, I do know where that is, right? You absolutely do, but you know that it is across the River Styx. Ah, oh, very well. Uh, we're going to have to get a ride from Karen. Oh, Karen. She's the worst. Uh, suddenly, Constantine ducks they... down and pulls you all close as uh, you see a couple of the Enforcer Demons... Uh, run past and, and start ordering people at the turnstiles that, you know, Constantine is here and to be on the lookout. And same for Lynn as well. She's going to whisper, I think, I think they prefer they, them, not, not, not she, her. I could be wrong, though. <laughs> good. That's good to know, but they're clearly looking for you. Oh, it's not a problem. We'll be fine. Just slowly move this direction. She, she kind of gonna try to like get get them to kind of move, you know, with the crowds, but you know, like Disneyland style, <laughs> okay. you know, kind of get lost in the crowd. The flow would, of if, traffic. J John, would you stop like pulling me down? I mean, just walk. Okay. All right. Sorry. Sorry. We're in your hands, Constantine. Lynn. It's all right, Constantine. Don't worry about it. Don't say my name out loud. No, I've already told them you're here. Then. You've done what? <laughs> and of course, a few demons turn to look at the crowd. At she, puts, 
put her hand over his mouth now, darling. It wouldn't be that interesting without a little bit of danger. Uh, no, we're oh. saying Jean Constantine, you know, the terrible French poet from the 17th century who killed all those nuns. Yeah, yeah, he was Did a real piece say my of name? <laughs> I am Jean, what's up? But, what you want, man? But he's, uh, not, but he's not a demon, that's a, a human. Yes, I am human. You annoy me, uh, I go away now. Let's go, let's go, please. Let's yes, go. please, let's get the hell uh -huh. out. Let's go away. Let's get the hell out, out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay. So, uh, Lynn, you, you lead them through, and you find, uh, do you head directly toward the river sticks? Yeah, but I'll follow, I'll take them along, like, the flow of traffic so that we're not super conspicuous, you know, like, you know, like, how Disneyland has people walking in. Of these, course. Like, uh, and they're doing a one-by-one -one person inspection at the <laughs> river sticks. Oh dear. The Karen is on the shore with her haircuts being there, asking to speak with everyone's manager, and is but she is the manager. <laughs> That's the problem. The manager That's never the comes. That's the vicious circle that she loves. <laughs> Welcome to hell. Well, this uh, might be a problem. You think it's going to be a problem? Who's who's she? That's Karen, dear. Great. Cool. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. So what's, what's, the, what's the big deal? What's... Uh, it seems like she's just asking for more managers today. Um, shouldn't be that big of a problem. Uh, you all look different. Um, I don't really have a... I can either look like this or my actual self, both of which are somewhat conspicuous, so... Maybe I can just teleport and see your cross. How's that? You're going to teleport and leave everyone here? No, I'll see you on the other side. I'll, I'll teleport last, though. I'll, I'll hang back and make sure. Okay, uh, that'll work for you, potentially. But what about John? Uh, but does, he doesn't look like constant, I mean, John. No, but, you know, this is just a glamour. It's not a great one. If they look directly at me or, you know, I it's going to break pretty easy. All right. So you have coins. There's nothing that sh sh Karen doesn't like more than coins. Do I have coins? What year is this? It doesn't matter, dear, down here. Uh, Manticore, looking over the situation, you see that most everyone is kind of lined up on the shores. But you see the, the ferry itself is unoccupied. No one is inside of it. The Karen is berating the people on the shores, essentially just making their lives miserable. Oh, we, we gotta, right? Are, are you all thinking what I'm thinking? No. I think so, RX, but where are we gonna find rubber pants our size? <laughs> we'll worry about that later. <laughs> Look, I never thought I'd say this, but let's steal that boat and go down the river of hell to see if we can get away from here. That's not a bad plan. We gotta go past all the... Like, she's gonna notice. They're gonna notice if we just walk up and get, hop on the ferry. Stealing their ferry is probably not a great idea. Talk about making us conspicuous. I, I have a... I'm sorry, I have a, a actual question about mm -hmm. what the situation is. The people that Karen is yelling at and looking for the manager and everything, they're all human souls? Right. Or they are also demons? All human souls. Oh, okay. We, um, we could just talk to talk to them. Um, I think I have at least one coin on me. Can I spend a stress to say I have one hell coin? Of course. Uh, so I, I believe I, I have one coin. Maybe this will be enough. Well, here, I might as well do what I do best. Um, I like to try to pickpocket some people for their coins. All right, very good. Uh, go ahead and uh, you're going to have a dance on this. We're, we're, we're demons, right? Why are we even, we'll just march on through. I know, Karen always requires passage. You can't go for free. What is this? 
right, that's a five and a six. Communism is in hell. Uh, You managed to get enough coins for everyone in your party. I just haven't lost my touch. Oh dear, stealing from the dam. You definitely well, there are. We go. You definitely are coming back here later. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, they probably ended up in hell for a reason. Right? I'm pretty sure stealing from bad guys is actually a good thing. Everyone ends up here down now. I was, I was going to get real dark. Let's move on. <laughs> I'm sure that person microwaves fish in the office. So. Oh. No. Yeah. <laughs> Man, a friend of mine got mad at me because I posted that on Facebook. Well, they're probably an awful person. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, they definitely are admitted that they microwave fish in the office. But anyway, that's just... yes, they are in this line. That that person is in this line right now. And probably broccoli too. The two worst oh, things. Oh right. Ooh. Uh, I'm just going right. the good place thing that everyone ends up here. So. <laughs> yeah, the system's broken. I just finished that, by the way. Oh, that's oh, that's so good. <laughs> Um. All right. So we're not gonna steal the boat. We're just gonna pay our our fee and. Well, I do have an idea on that. I saw this really old movie, uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, where uh, they made it look like they stole a boat to get people to chase the boat, and then they got away a different way. So yeah. what if we? let the boat loose and made them think that we sold a boat and they go chasing the boat and then we just go across the river. It's actually not a bad idea. Maybe I can do that because she'll recognize me if she sees me, but we can talk to her. And then when you, get around, when you get around that corner, that turn, then you can teleport back. Question <laughs> though, how do we get across this river without a boat? You don't want to swim. No, it's it's a lake of fire. Um, maybe a second boat. John, any thoughts? Is there a second boat? I mean, yeah, there's another Karen down the way, but they're gonna notice one. Well, maybe if we cause a big enough distraction here, it'll pull that Karen away. I mean, they're all good to be looking for me. Um, big enough distraction, like what? Maybe, maybe. Maybe we should try talking first, and if we need to make a distraction with the boat disappearing, I could always arrange that. I can just teleport over to the boat and have that happen while you guys get away. Sounds good. All um, right. <clears throat> I think I might have a plan C just in case, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. How, how, to how to wide? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was a rule of threes. So no, to. it's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> He said he had a plan C in case things didn't go as well. And I said, cancer? cancer? <laughs> um, how wide is the River Styx? Uh, the River Styx is um, hundreds of yards wide. Okay. Just trying to get an idea of what my options are. Yeah, it's definitely impossible to swim, jump, teleport over, but I with the ferry. Teleport. Over, like you could do one of those things where you jump in the air and you fall a little bit and teleport and jump and then teleport and jump, and maybe you'll get there. Maybe there's something in the water that comes out and eats you. Who knows? It's river sticks. It's hell. It's not something I would want to try. To no. Like. You don't. You don't. You don't not take a Sharon across the river sticks. All right. Um, well, let's try this. Lead the way. It's your funeral. Actually, it's our funeral, but I can't die. Go. Yeah. I'm immortal after all. Um, follow me. And John yeah, Constantine we... gives like one of those eh, immortal-ish. I think we better Where get started. We don't we don't have too much time on our hands. And we have all of the time on our hands. That's not sticks, is it? Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. I, see, I've been trying to work something that wasn't Domo Arigato Mr. Roboto in, and I was struggling. <laughs> so thank you, Nick. Thank You're you. You're welcome. <clears throat> we appreciate you so much. Just immeasurably. Well, yeah. I mean, we need to steal the boat so we can come sail away. Damn it. You. There it is. You beat me to it. I'm <laughs> sailing away. You know, this is the best of times. I love it. <laughs> oh, stop fooling yourself. Oh. <laughs> oh my 
<laughs> You're such a renegade. All right, so you approach <laughs> Karen, <laughs> and she is. I just she... don't let it end. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She looks like you stepped in shit um, as she turns to you. Can I help you? Yes, um, we need passage of fonts. It's, it's somewhat urgent. Payments? Yes, here uh, you yeah, go. Yeah. Right here. Clink, clink, clink. Here you are. Here. She shakes it. Hop on. Thank you, darling. She'll get on. Yeah, I have to like show her face too much. Oh, so okay. So give me a stealth check to, to try and like hide your ah! face. I got a success. One success. That's all you need. Okay. <laughs> Karen squints at you, but lets you on. Go. It drives itself. Not that I'll tell management that. Cheers, love. Cheers. You could stay for this. And the boat takes off and you begin drifting down the river. Well, that went a lot better than expected, didn't it? Yeah. A little too better. Oh, don't be a downer. We're only in hell. That's right. And I Huston leans over and lights a cigarette off the fire lake. <laughs> you seem to be enjoying yourself. Well, how many times are you going to get a chance to do that? Too often. About how many millions of years? I don't know how long you've been here. She just glares at him. Anyways. Okay, <laughs> so so after we get across, we gotta go find this well of souls or something. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. uh, a friend of mine, Chaz. He um, kind of owe him, so we need to get his soul. Uh, I see. Why Wait, his his soul or a soul? His soul. I'm not here for any soul. I mean, why me? I got you all. Well, this is a what, what, what did he do? Like, why is he here? Everyone's here, darling. That's really. Yes, this isn't exactly a a good guy, but you know, he's not a bad guy either. Present environment would tend to indicate that's not true. Listen, they're too <laughs> harsh on the rules here. Everyone's here. Most everyone. Uh, Gandhi made it out, so that's good. Yeah, but but like, what about all the other religions? This can't be the only afterlife. You know who got it right? That's ridiculous. Mormons. Who knew? Not exactly, but close enough. Rude. Yeah, they all down here too. It's fine. Right, look, let's just go wherever the hell we're going as uh, as quickly as we can. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Sakes. Well, we have to descend a level. So, I hope everyone's okay with that. Wait, which level are we on now? Uh, first. The first one, Curiosity, you know, top level. It's not that bad up here. It's at least manageable. Not so that what, bad. What River is, of Fire. What's Hell. below this one? Hell, darling. I mean, more hell. <laughs> It's kind of infinite, or well, some would say that there's a few layers, but you know, that depends on how you look at it. I believe lust is the next one. Mm. That's right. Oh. Mm -hmm. We have to go into all the. So details. just to yeah, so keep your everything in your pants. Don't suck, lick, or be in anything. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Great. I, I'm. I'm totally okay with not doing any of that. I mean, you know, you know how you hear that when they film pornography, it's it's actually terrible to actually be in it. Well, it's, it's kind of like that. Exactly. Okay. So like, stare. stare. Like, <laughs> full-on Ben Wyatt to the camera stare. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Don't worry about it, darling. Um, um, is there an elevator or stairs or how yes. do you? Once we get across the river, ah, there is a great door that leads downwards. We go through it, and uh, you know, we're almost there, halfway yeah. there. It's a big red door. It's not hard to miss. Mm -hmm. 
But why do you need me if you seem to already know all this? Well, I know general areas. When we get closer to the Well of Souls, that's where I need you, because that's somewhere on the fourth floor, but I'm not sure if that's in menswear or near the automotive. It's it's near automotive, unfortunately. Right, right. And if we need to make a quick exit, I'm going to need your help. Mm, well, you know I can't teleport with someone, but yes. No, no, I, I understand. I thought you had our plan for a quick exit. Cracking the little thing. What, the yeah. thing? No, yeah, that, that's going to be a quick exit. It'll get us most of the way out of here. What little thing are you referring to? The he tile. pulls out a little tile. Most of the way? I'm sorry, I think I might have missed that earlier. Right, we have to get to, you know, the top layer, Limbo, and then we can go on up from there. But, you know, lower levels, it only brings you higher up one plane. Great. So, you know, Great. Steel's yeah, getting worse all the time. As long yeah. as no one's, uh, <laughs> you know, told anyone about us, eyes you directly, Lynn. She's we should like, be all right. Oh, don't worry. She I was having fine. dinner with Tiffany Dang. Everything was going well. Right. And How now I'm descending deeper and deeper into hell. Awesome. No, thank you. My uh, aligning with you people is the best decision I've ever made. Wait, 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 wait. What, what day is this? What, what day is this? Sunday? Oh, thank God. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, we have to, we have to get out of here. I have an oh. appointment tomorrow. Don't worry, mm -hmm. time functions differently down here. Wait, it's better or worse? Faster or slower? Slow is <laughs> down, don't worry. We've got more time. Uh, well, mostly. And Depends so on where we, you're at. Yes, and then there's the parts of time that you're everywhere at once. Second layer is going to get real dicey, so it's going to feel like an instant. All right, ready? Okay. And with that, you uh, come ashore, the boat lurches forward, and he walks off of it with the momentum. <laughs> after uh, 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 <clears throat> after navigating yeah, some uh, some spires yeah. and what have you, uh, you come to a giant red door. Another red door. This one is looks like it's made entirely out of bodies, uh, but the bodies are in a state of coitus. Mm -hmm. uh, Which the, state? The middle <laughs> middle state? Liquid. <laughs> Liquid sure. state. Nebraska. Plasma. <laughs> Got not it. Deep, not deep state, just middle state. Just not deep state. <laughs> <laughs> so. I've heard that about them. Yeah. All right. Uh, yes, the door tell, is... guys, it's red state. <laughs> <laughs> Next, the winner. I thought we agreed there wasn't Republicans. We're not Republicans. <laughs> there are Republicans. Can't we? <laughs> Yeah, they're way no, they're, down they're actually, there. Yeah, they're they're an extra hell. <laughs> There's a hell worse than this. This is like middle hell. Isn't that the, the supernatural hell for gay people? In supernatural that what's his name got sent to? I'm referencing the supernatural show, sorry. I have and if it's after season Castiel. eight, I have no Castiel. idea. That was the whole thing on the internet that he got sent to super hell or something after he told told him um what's his name? Dean he loved him. Oh sorry, again, right. I didn't see I didn't see All the right. like, season season well, thanks. eight that's it yeah thanks spoilers for a 15 year old show that just ended <laughs> thanks I'm nikki i'm sorry i am a demon that's true well done <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. so we're all agreed we leave nikki in hell right that's, right, that's right. Method. I'm sorry. <laughs> sounds good sounds good I, it was all over the internet i thought okay, okay. your You're internet fine. not our You're internet <laughs> All right, so yeah, uh, you get to the door, and the door itself is locked. There's no guards. There's no one in front of it. Constantine is running his hands over it, um, grabbing at things, flicking things. Nothing seems to be working. Doors Mantra's are eyes are like saucers. Do, do I know how to open this? Uh, you do not. This is would not be your area. Uh, after a minute of kicking, uh, a small hole appears. Well, you've got to be kidding me, mate! Time doing your keep, and he looks straight at Who, what? Says it's time to earn your keep, and he looks directly at our ex. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, hey, yeah. Okay, give me specifics. What do you want me to do? Okay, 
I need you to get tiny. And they have to climb up. And there is a uh, cog in there. You're going to need to jimmy it until it pops loose. You'll hear a, a loud clang, and the door will spring open. And hopefully you'll fall out. Just, if not, just, just climb sure back the way you can. Cog. Yeah, cog. You know, the thing with the sprockets. I'm still not convinced that that is the word you said, but yes, okay, I will do that. So wiggle the sprocket, and once it comes loose, it'll be good. Why would you think I said? Anyway, let me see if I can do this. And he kind of out of your gutter. thinks for a minute, and you can see that he's taking some deep breaths. Do we want to roll for this, Jameson? What yes, do you want please. to do? All right. I had a feeling you might say that. <laughs> One success. One success. Okay, as you work your way up there, you are assaulted by the sounds of moans and coitus. Uh, you finally get there, and you're... Sorry, sorry. <laughs> you get your hands on the sprockets, and you wiggle it, and it pops loose, and the door flies open, and you are... Um, I, I don't want to say ejected, but removed from the door swiftly. You want to say ejected. <laughs> I do, but I'm not gonna. I'm a gentleman, damn it. But I get to pretend like I didn't. Uh, I you were sprung from it. You were sprung from the door, uh, yes. covered in a viscous fluid. Uh, oh, it's probably uh, grease or lubricant or something. Liz will take a finger and lick it. Yeah, the oh. hand rises. I think I got the door open. She's like, oh, it's not lubricants, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Moving uh, on. Just. Don't stick random things into your mouth. What's wrong with you? I'm from here, darling. Nothing gonna hurt me like that. Still, it's just I... unsanitary. Kind of Didn't sanitary expect it to be so quiet. sticky. Do you oh. want scabies? That's how you get scabies. Oh, darling, these kind of things don't affect me. And she just like walks in. As you walk in, <laughs> uh, it immediately like transforms as you def uh, descend the stairway. Uh, it turns into that scene from The Matrix too. You know, the rave scene down there? Yeah. Zion. Mm -hmm. Zion, yes. No, the one with all the Mr. Smiths. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Hot. <laughs> Sorry, I got the visual. Oh, my God. Mr. Anderson. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, you fucking broke me. Uh, <clears throat> oh, shit. Hold on. I need a minute. It's, it's just a big rave orgy with a lot of Mr. Smith. Yeah. I mean, Hugo Weaving's pretty hot. Let's just. I mean, yeah. I'm not know. complaining. I'm just There's a couple saying. Elrons tucked in there for good measure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then his character from Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. It's yeah. yes. nothing bad mm -hmm. about this. There's no. nothing. Yeah, this is a totally acceptable. You yeah, got one enough. that you don't really. Uh, know where he's from. I'm from the Immortal Engine. No one saw that. Sorry, dude. One Red Skull. Just... One Red Skull. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Red, I think Red uh, Red Skull's DJing. Yeah. Yes. But Red Skull is the ones and twos. DJ Skull, but it's got an umlaut over the yeah. <laughs> school. Yeah. School. I thought this was supposed to be hell, not heaven. <laughs> <laughs> well, one man's, you know. So. <laughs> Literally one man's. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you are all going to have to make checks to navigate this cesspit of lust uh, before getting pulled in. Can I have advantage? Yeah, all of you will have advantage. Awesome. Oh, I don't think that Eddie has advantage. I think oh. Eddie has disadvantage being a teenage yeah. boy. Okay. Entirely uh, up to Eddie. In there, I mean... You basically take super horny teenage boy and put him in the pit of lust. Uh, that's not that's not an advantage situation. Okay. All right, I'll say the disadvantage. I'm just I got just... I got a success. All right, Rx is able to control his emotions. He dances a little bit. But he's you know keeps under control. Three die, one success. <sighs> Lucky you, Lynn. Uh, I got a cyclops. Now we we said that there's no like, you know, there's no super penalty for for just a one, but yeah. Uh, but yes. So I'll let you describe what happens. Uh, 
as you have failed this check in hell in the lust pit uh i would say that there is um around him it looks like there is every person he's ever had a crush on so yeah Hugo, we've all... been over this right and they're all gyrating and uh looking looking at him uh suggestively and making come hither motions and he's being drawn towards that uh towards that group of uh, of people okay uh lynn what does yours look like what is your failure Four, four, four. So, um, my failure is well, she's kind of a party girl, anyways. So she just kind of gets distracted by some people dancing. One has some, some cocktails, and she's like, "Oh, is that Ambrosia?" And just like takes it, and then, and then just like kind of gets lost in like dancing with people. Okay. And just kind of... <laughs> Dodger and RX, you have managed to hold on to your. Uh your faculties as it were uh two of your friends have started that what we're calling them that's what i'm calling it <laughs> uh have have lost theirs and are being drawn into it um constantine is just kind of bobbing his head unfazed by the area yeah it's been done <laughs> it's not as good as glasgow just saying <laughs> Something you can learn after your second theme party. It's all been done before. Oh, I don't want to go back there and get them, but how long do we leave them here? Well, how much farther do we have to go, uh, John? Two more levels, and uh, if we leave them here, well, they stay here. Constantine's like, this has got nothing on a Warhol party. <laughs> so much soup. All right, Dodger, do you want Lynn or Manticore? Uh, right? <laughs> Manticore. I want Manticore. I had a feeling you'd say that. All right, well, good luck to you. Yeah, you, uh, you too. Manticore, See you on the other side. Manticore is fully entwined, uh, groping and uh, making out, tongue down, uh, tongue down someone's throat. All right. No, I'm not you, you, Nick. I, I, I celebrate your sensuality, but I, I'm a little <laughs> icked out by Manticore. I got to play the character, man. I, gotta... I know. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Mind you, safety tools are in play in hell. So, you know, yeah. if you ever feel like we're at that place, X card yeah, yeah. out. Saying that for I'm the good. audience, the five of you watching at home. Hi. How's it going? You're beautiful. All right. Uh, Dodger, as you roll up, you see uh, Manticore is entwined with uh, several beings and is tongue down one of them. Uh, what do you do? Uh, I would like to try to... This is a bad idea before I even say it. I would like to try to get between Manticore and the person that he is currently entwined with. Okay. <laughs> so that I can kind of like be that sober friend at the drunk party... Who's like, uh huh, yeah, this is great. We're going over this way now. Um, so that's that's his plan. I don't know what you want me to roll for that, but that's roll for for cock blocking. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're gonna hold on that. Uh, okay. Jumping over to RX and Lin Lin, uh, you're being chatted to and adored by several people, and that voice has gotten really loud in your head. Oh, darling, we should stay here. This is a lot of fun. Ooh, that's delicious. It is a lot of fun. Unfortunately, once you get down the assembly line, she's like slowly like taking clothes off as she's calmly saying this and like making out with random people. Uh, and once you get down too far down the assembly line, you just have to take a few thousand years to work your way back. Well, Maybe I guess I if it's the line we got to work, then it's the line we got to work. Ooh, that one I tasted mean... like peaches. I've got off this line so that I could have my own this line. You no, know, it's more fun when you choose it yourself, not when it's just another mouth that happens to be in the same vicinity as yours. Right. <laughs> uh, so, yes, you see this happening, Rx, uh, as she is in a state of undress, um, making out with folks. What do you do? And she, and she does look like she's actually talking out loud to herself now, probably because she, between making out. <laughs> Out of character, I haven't had a cigarette in three years, and I want a cigarette really bad. <laughs> uh, 
Welcome uh, to games uh, we never play. So sexy yeah. they make you want to smoke. Um, games never play. Nights. After dark. After oh, dark. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, we should play um, the Chuck Tingle game. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I feel like we've got a moral imperative to now at this point. Uh, Rx is sizing up the situation and he sees all of the contributing factors and he's like, I don't have time to muck about with this. So I'm going to roll to see if I can grow big and then just grab them and then plop them somewhere else, basically. Okay. I want you both to go ahead and roll uh, for your intervening check. Okay. Yep. Uh, okay. Um, well, that's a failure, but I do have lucky, so I'm going to re-roll. Okay. So you interpose yourself, and Manticore starts making out with, with Dodger. Yeah, that's definitely happening. <laughs> um, this is it's fine. It's a party. This is fine. Uh, yeah, that is a failure. So, cool. This got worse. Um... <laughs> Okay, so uh, <laughs> you're now intertwined yeah. with them. I'm not saying you're joining at all or anything like that, but you know you, they're making out and you're kind of like pinned between them. Like, ah, God bless it, I'm stuck. You know, one of those scenarios. Um, I got a success on mine for what it's worth. Okay, uh, one success or two? Uh, just one. Okay, uh, so you grow big and go ahead and describe what happens. Um, so I grow a little larger, you know, maybe twice my height, so I can't just do like the one giant hand lift somewhere else, but instead I, I wrap my hands around Lynn's waist and lift them up, realizing too late, you know, the state of undress that they're in, etc. And I'm like, okay, okay, look, I'm going to put you down over here. We have work to attend to. If we can get back this way on the way out, I promise I won't mess with you anymore. Okay. Oh, but darling, that size, I can't help but wonder what's in those trousers. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then I just kind of tuck her under one arm and make my way through the crowd. Perfect. Uh, so, Manticore, oh, oh, go ahead. I, I did remember a mechanic, um, if you're cool with this. If you want, I can make another check. Okay. Or I will burn a stress to create a success. Okay, go for it. Okay. All right, got a success. Okay. So how does this play out? You know, you, you tried stopping him. It doesn't really work. Uh, what do you do to, to make this a so success? So I think the first time he tried, he tried literally just putting himself between them. That didn't work. He just decided, I'm so sorry about this, and breaks that kiss by imposing his own kiss with manticore and then pulls him out of the out of the throng Bold move. Oh, yeah. that way and uh manticore's running his hands all over uh dodger's body and and saying you know as, as he comes up uh, out of the kiss saying uh i've always loved your live body i, I aim to please um <laughs> Yeah. Cool. Um, I'm very flattered. Are you okay now? Where where are we where 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 are we going? Uh, did you wanna Yeah, you let's, wanna get let's, out of here? Oh yeah, we're come on, we're gonna go this way. I saw right. a nice private room over here. Uh Manicor has his just, you know, hands all over you as as we walk and you know, nibbling on your ear and uh he's still in, enthralled. Possibly the one time in his life he was wishing he wore a shirt. Right. Uh, as you all make for the exit, um, you see John's waiting for you, smoking a cigarette, just watching this all transpire. As you cross the threshold, uh, any of the feelings of lust uh, immediately leave your consciousness and you are back to your own self. She'll, she'll stop How? trying to unbuckle Rx's pants, I guess. <laughs> oh, I... I I mean, if these are your I, two feelings, you you go with them. But you know, just saying, you are not compelled I, in any way. Oh, I'm. I. And Manicor has just turned entirely yeah. red and not uh, being able to to uh, 
make a coherent statement. Hey, um, it's it's all good. It was it was so loud in there I could barely hear what you were saying. I um It was a baddie, that's all it was. Just a baddie. <laughs> when will Pat RX and she'll be like, Oh darling, well maybe not the time. Yeah. Are you okay now? I'm always okay, dear. Thank you very much. Yeah. I really want to get stuck there for a few thousand years. Maybe a little bit of a pain. Uh, all right. John, where are we going now? Down one more level, and uh, we should be just about there. We've got to get to Avarice, but we have to go through Gluttony first. All right. I think I know which way you're talking about. This way. Leading on, yes, you uh, go through a double door, and you get hit with this warm-ish air, and you're inside of a hometown buffet. <laughs> what? And, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and they've that got... tracks. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> We've all been there. Uh, and it's, it's rib night, so, you know. <laughs> what kind of rib? Not Adam's people. rib. Adam's rib. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> but um, bump. Joey wins now. Uh-huh. All right. The lovely applesauce glaze. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, so yes, as you are making your way through this, uh, you see everyone is just filling their plates, emptying them immediately, and then filling them again. Uh, the food smells so good, and and you realize none of you had anything to eat. In the last 12 hours or so, except for John. He pretty much cleaned out your pantry. So don't eat the food. If you eat the food down here, you can't come back. But I'm starving. Go ahead and give me that check to resist. That delicious, delicious ribs. I don't know if uh, RX would have um, advantage here, but he did have a giant steak dinner. Uh, You're absolutely right. RX did have a steak dinner with uh, with Dang. I'll take it. Just a couple minutes before before all and this happened. Fortunately, uh, in Manticore, you'd have disadvantage as you've gone through um, metamorphosis. Yeah, so I called. know, but would health food have the same effect on me though? Or uh, yeah, absolutely. It still tastes good. I mean, again, a lot of this is fulfilling a need. Sex is just as important to to humans as food is. Well, in some places, so. It's all about sensuality. I'll burn a stress to get a success this time. Yeah, I'm going to burn a stress too because I, I rolled a big goose egg. All right, all right. And Manticore, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm also going to spend a stress. I think that the, I think that as delicious as this smells, uh, his mind is still uh, sort of reeling from the lust level and so he's very much like not sullen but like quiet and embarrassed and not wanting to yeah. get you know not and not want like doesn't want to call attention to himself and is still now trying to figure out what happened and it's kind of that walk of shame but not really it's a little different right uh you all find things in the in uh, in the food to, to disgust yourself. You're like, oh, look at that grease pile. Oh, look at the food that they're just stepping over and it's piling up beneath them that they're just wasting. Uh, so you all find things to distract yourselves as you move through. Oh. Sorry, my earpiece fell out because I'm old. All right. Uh, you managed to get through the area. No problem. Uh, as the doors open, you're hit with a blast of just... Uh, you thought the, the the steam and the heat from the lust level was bad. The next level is even worse. If you've ever worked in an industrial kitchen, you know that smell. Mm-hmm. Or Walmart in the summer, yes. Oh, God, I can only imagine. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, yeah, uh, it opens up, and it is like the floor of the uh, the trading center, the, uh, the stock exchange. People mm-hmm. are shouting and fighting over pieces of scrap paper and calling out to uh, demons who are taking bets on souls and what have you. Uh, As you navigate your way through, uh, a woman bumps into your group 
Hey, watch it. She turns and Dodger, it's your mother. Oh. Noah? Uh, Noah, sweetie? And she grabs your face. What, what are you doing here? I died. They didn't tell you? No, I... What do, you, what do you mean you died? I just saw you yesterday. Yeah, it... Your brother. He... Once he took control, he... Took me out. So... He could run everything, and there's nothing your father could do. He consolidated his power. Once you were out of the picture, he took me out, and that's it. And so now it's just your dad, and your brother works for him, and... Yeah. And I'm here. I mean, I deserve it, but I'm here. Dodge just... Just floored. Um... Everyone deserves it, darling. If it makes you feel any better, she puts like a like a pat pat like on your shoulders. A little condescending, but all right. And she begins to smoke as y'all are jostled slightly by people trading and doing such. Why are you here? Did, did you? Did the Batman get you? No, no, mom. The... Robin. God no. Um, no, it's, it's hard to explain, but look, I'm going to, don't worry about Ethan. I'm going to, I'm going to take care of Ethan. Okay. I... I'm going to take care of dad. I'm going to take care of the family the way you should have. Oh, way to guilt trip me now. Well, we've got nothing but time, don't we? No, you have nothing but time. Well, Look, I me? you're my mom, and I, on some level, love you and will always love you, but that doesn't mean I have to like you. Listen, Noah, we always tried to give you the best, and you always spat in our face. Because we didn't deserve it. Your father we didn't worked earn hard it. and earned every inch of yes. what he had. He's the only one of us who earned it. And he wanted he to give that to his it children, to his wife, to take care of them, as his job is. And taking care of him means what? Gold plating the house? If it makes him happy, of course. It never made him happy. It made you happy. That's neither here nor there. Well, apparently it's here. Right. Hold on, I'm... And she starts going into bidding. She gets distracted uh, by an offer that comes up. Lynn is smoking and kind of inching away in family drama. She whispers to Constantine, it's, it's, it's not my thing. I've had enough with you have several million siblings. <laughs> Are you all right there, Dodger? I'll be fine. Let's she's, just... she's now completely ignored you and gone back to the crowd before disappearing into them. Let's just go. We've got to get back. Yes. Uh, all right. Um, <clears throat> do you want a cigarette? Yeah, actually, I do. She'll give you one of her cigarettes and light it for you. <sighs> all right, then, mate. Yeah. I... No, but I'm. I, I mean, will be. I mean, that's your mom, isn't it? Technically. That'll shake anyone. Yeah. Well, and he slaps you on the back. Back to it? Yeah. Someone's got a date with a knife. That's the spirit. <laughs> He looks Same over to, to Manticore. He doesn't mean me, right? No, no. He, he means someone else in his family. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yes. Um... Right. And you all manage to, to get out of there. And he leads you to uh, 
this back room type area. It almost seems like the um, storage area for uh, Indiana Jones and the Ark of the Covenant. All right, Lynn. This is where you shine. Where's the well? All right, then. By the way, where would the pomegranates be? <laughs> pomegranates are actually going to be uh, two more levels down in violence. He's like, well, he's like, actually, there's a quick stop. I have to make downstairs a little bit lower. So maybe we can grab some of the way up. Uh, you want to go lower? Just a pop. Uh, Wait, since what? We We've already been in hell like a long time. All right, well, here's, here's the deal. I promised Ivy we would bring back the pomegranates to kind of bury the hatchets a little bit. So it might smooth things over if we do that. Wait, what? When did you talk to Ivy? Uh, you were asleep then. Don't worry about it. Didn't what, she... she can't get her own pomegranates? She doesn't have Amazon Fresh? This is specifically <laughs> a, po a Hades pomegranate. It's, it's a little bit different. What does Wait. she want with it? Like, is she going to use it to, like, get revenge on us for taking her garden? No, no. I I assume that she won't use it on us, and if she does, then I'll just send her down here. Wait a minute. This doesn't make any sense. This is Christian hell. How is Hades pomegranate here? That this is not Christian hell. It's in the Bobby. sixth floor, which sense. is heresy. This is this isn't Christian hell, darling. This is no, it's no. I don't. Different things. I don't believe it. I. <laughs> She pats you on the back. The hell believes in you, as unfortunately he already said. This hell is poorly written. <laughs> I mean, we could always go back to Avarice and see if someone wants to sell this. Oh, I don't. I don't. I already used. Wait, how many coins did we use? One, two, three. No, let's not do that. Just. It, it'll be easy. You can just pop down and come back up. Next level is wrath, and then heresy, and then violence. It it only gets worse from here. Don't worry about it. It should Look, be alright. We can't piss Ivy off any more than we already have. So, what does it matter if we bring her this pomegranate or not? Because then we could smooth it over. You don't understand diplomacy very well, do you? I mean, I seem to remember you saying that she wanted money as well. Money was good, and that's plentiful on it. Yeah, she wanted both in particular, which we didn't have money, so I... She just ends the same. <laughs> well, if you all decide to go lower, that's on you, and I'm just going to wait here until you come back. All right, cheerio. And she likes her attention. Okay. Right back. Lynn is heading further down, deeper into hell. What are the rest of you doing? Wait, what are you? Where are you going? What are you doing? We need to get this pomegranate for Ivy to smooth things over. I'm thinking of all of us, not just myself. Well, well, you made the deal with Ivy. Why don't you just come back later for the pomegranate? I, hell is not that easy to get in now. First, I'm kind of wanted here. Um, our ex is gonna look at his inventory, scream. Because I have to step away for just a minute. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> it's fine. He's going through his chemicals, see what he's got in his pouch, what have you. Um, it's like the the Resident Evil Tetris. Like, right. <laughs> exactly. You got that one square. You're like, nothing fits there. <laughs> Damn you, shotgun. So yeah. Big, um, big Diablo two vibes. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, you have a couple options here. Uh, if Nikki, if you're going to head down there, that's perfectly fine. Um, we'll play that out. Uh, additionally, yeah, you do have connections in hell. As you stated throughout the earlier episodes, you have people you can call that you've rung up to get info on Constantine. Maybe you can see if they can do a Amazon Fresh, as a doctor said, and get you a pomegranate. I'm sure they have Amazon down here. I'm sure she'll, it is here. Yeah, she'll see everyone's reluctance and sigh and take out her phone and just go on to... Um... Is it just Amazon down here? It's just um, Amazon, yeah. Yeah, it's just the same. Same Amazon. <laughs> Except a little, instead of a smile, it's a little frown. Sure, uh, sure, sure. Yeah. Um, but the extension, it's it's uh, Amazon dot hell. <laughs> and but she'll but she'll go and like and but she'll see her friend who works there maybe. Um, maybe She's in the fulfillment center or something. 
Yeah, and she'll just like call his direct number and just like, and she has to go through multiple, multiple like robotic screens and like the oh, yeah. and there's like elevator music and she's like, I hope you're happy. You could have been there and back by now. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello there, darling. This is Lynn. Lynn, it's so nice to hear from you. I never hear from you. You never call. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. There's not very good reception back in here. at and right? It's the worst. It's the worst. You're, you're quite right. Um, see, I have to get a handle on one of those pump credits. Oh, yeah, just the one? Would you like a, there's a deal on a dozen. Oh, how much for a dozen? Uh, it's going to be forty nine fifty. Everything seems to be forty nine fifty in hell. Uh, Churros. That's, that's in which nomination? Uh, souls. I need four hundred and ninety five souls. Okay. Um, how many have I sent down recently? <laughs> oh, none, sweetie. You haven't sent any. Oh, but I did kill that police officer. A few, a few yeah, but he was going here anyways. It's not like, you know, he he knows what he did. I mean, isn't isn't basically anyone, everyone. Oh, so you're saying I have to specifically corrupt the few good people on Earth who actually weren't. Absolutely, we need we need that saturation. It's only at ninety eight percent. We need at ninety nine. It's so difficult. I don't know. This is a tall price. Is there any way you can work out something for me? Absolutely. See, I don't know. Lynn, can... for you, I can definitely work out something. Tell you what, I'll give you one pomegranate. All right, but you okay. owe me. Okay. Ten souls by the end of the solstice. Fine. I'll do what I can. No, no. You do that. If you don't, you're coming back here. You're working for me. Do In we have a deal? In fulfillment, yes. Oh. In Amazon. <laughs> God, not again. All right. All right. It's a deal. Okay. Do you have Prime? <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to be like $3. <laughs> um, can I just subscribe to the free trial? I'll just make a new email account. Okay, that's smart. No one ever falls over that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'll, I'll put the address. Mm -hmm. uh, or are you putting it to the uh, Gotham Orchard that uh, Ivy was at, or are you going to put it to Australia? But not really Australia, because you don't want it to actually go there. I'm going to put it to the one Ivy was at, and I'll put it like, from Lynn, like part, is part, this a part. gift? Yeah, do you want to include <laughs> gift, gift receipts? Gift yeah. And I'll have and I'll have a gift wrap. Um, and I'll Ooh. do like, it's like gonna be another six dollars. Are you sure? Like, yeah, I'll do it. I can take this. Okay. <laughs> like a heart, 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 and I'll be like kissy face, and I'll be like little devil face, and I'm like, sorry, we worked it out, but here's this anyways. XOXO. <laughs> <laughs> And then, like, prayer emoji. XOXO, Gotham Girl. <laughs> that woman I... sent me this? <laughs> no, I have a little devil emoji. Mm. Yeah, that's it's a Batman woman, gosh. right? Yeah. <laughs> what I miss? Amazon Prime, that's all. <laughs> okay, great. All right, so she, so she gets off um, and says, very well. Thanks. All good? All good. Order confirmed. All good. Uh, you got the notice. It has been delivered. Oh, you're stepping up your delivery times. How many people do you have working for you now? <laughs> Millions. Maybe with a B. Who knows? Do mm -hmm. you have any leads on souls that I could work on? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 can, I can get you some leads. No problem. I'll yeah, send them to your email, all right? That would be great. Thank you. Um, the people I run with are pretty much all coming here, so... There's this commissioner. If you can get him, it'd be a big gift oh. for you. Oh, he's that one. He, he seems you know, nice. the commissioner. Mm. Yes, yes. He, he did seem like a nice fellow. Oh, that would be a good snack. Like a good little snack, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm. All, all right. right. Talk Cheerio. to you later. Bye. Click the hang up. All right. All done. She she already has it delivered. That's great. Now, well of souls, please. She rolls her eyes. Fine this way. Starts walking off. Right. Look, it's not old home week for the rest of us. We want to get out, get 
get his friend and get out of here. Look, just help me corrupt some people later and we'll call it a deal. What? what? <laughs> I didn't <laughs> sign up to send people to hell. Look, dear. I signed up to come to hell and get someone out. If you're already sending people to hell in your everyday life, you just don't know it. You're going here too. Don't worry about it. You, sorry, you, you keep I don't saying even believe that. in this place. I and I, I, I just I have it on pretty good authority that our souls aren't spoken for yet. Well, whose authority? Superman. No. I don't know. A little bird told me. You're definitely coming mm -hmm. here, darling. She she pats your back. You can at least move your mom. Whatever, can we <laughs> Yeah, wow. seriously, can we just focus on the job and get out of hell? I, I don't know why we have to keep having this conversation. She bites her lip and says, sorry, and then just like starts walking past her. Let's just find Chip or Chad or whatever his Chaz. name is and let's go. Chaz, great. So walking by the different boxes, uh, you realize that this actually is the Well of Lost Souls, that each of these boxes is somebody's soul, and they are lost here for all of eternity, because no one can having find them. But Lynn knows the system. She knows how to find people. So Constantine gives you uh, the information to find Chaz, and without much ado, you're able to find him if you choose. All right, yeah, I'll find him. I'm not going to double cross him. Okay, great. Uh, you find Thank the box. Thank goodness. Where there's a well, there's a way. <laughs> uh, you pry it open, and <laughs> under the styrofoam is a golden orb. Jazz, mate. Oh, come here. Oh, you've lost some weight. All right, we'll get you out of here. And he puts it in his cloak. All right. Yes, dear. Ready to roll. Indeed. Let's get out of here. Great. I have some schools to corrupt. Perfect. Sounds good. Let's roll. So, making... hey, do we have to go through all of the same levels when we go? I mean, that is, yeah. I mean, like the same places and everything? I mean, it's hard to get out of hell than it is to go in hell, right? Manticore, I don't know. Think about baseball. Let's just get out of here, okay? Yeah. All right, so since you all have passed these chunks in one form or another, you all will have advantage on making them the second time through. The room that you're currently in, I'm not going to have you make a check-in for Avarice because none of you really have that. Well, RX, Lynn, <laughs> why don't you two make that check for me, please? Just straight up? Uh, I'll give you advantage on it. Oh, you're so nice. Uh, two successes. Oh, there you go. Lynn, how's it looking? Did I get advantage? Yeah, you got advantage. Okay. I'm, I'm going to spend the stress. <laughs> That's right. Burn all your stress getting into hell and then getting out. I still it's... have half of it left. <laughs> Yeah, there's only like, you know, three or four more levels to get out. Cool, cool, cool. What? It's three levels. It's two levels. Wait, two. And then the, the thing. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, you get back through Avarice. And you're heading up to Gluttony. And of course, you all smell the food again. Uh, make that check. Oh, you will have advantage. Course this time. Oh, yes. Oh, no. They got that soft I serve. Yeah, Michael Holmes would have trouble with that for sure. Absolutely. That's two successes for Dodger. One, One success. Three. Perfect. I, I failed. Spending stress? And I'm not going to spend stress for it. Ooh, okay. Great man. Uh, yeah, the the soft serve is calling your name with lots of hot fudge and lots of nuts. I mean, they've got brownies and marshmallow fluff. I, I mean, we got it, right? No, it's tainted. It's bad. It's probably spoiled. I've As you're eaten saying at buffets he's... before, oh, Dodger. Thank you. I, know. <laughs> I understand how capitalism works. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he's just enjoying uh, the delectable bits here. Hey, um, no, this is not 
this uh, we we gotta go. I mean, I tell you what, I'll get you soft serve back at the back in Australia. Well, this is so good. You know I'll, the f- I'll, the food in Gotham we'll, is not we'll, nearly we'll as good like, as this. We'll get like an ice cream. We'll we'll do like a party, an ice cream party. It's not the same. No, it, it it'll be good. I'm just gonna put my arm around him and and hustle him away. And use your strength. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm not. I'm not going to hurt him, but I'm just going to herd him. I feel like uh, that's a success. Oh, Earth. thank God! You, you hoist him up. <laughs> He's holding on to the nozzle of the soft serve, and grabbing yeah. what bits of like, you know, cookies he can. You've the done handful the thing where you of sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> Once we're out of that room, then we'll say, "Dear, you should throw that out. Otherwise, you'll never be able to leave hell." <laughs> yeah, I think you might have a point. And then that won't be a problem at all as it immediately comes back up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like that scene in Futurama when they're oh, fighting the video game God. characters. Mm-hmm. And Zoidberg is eating the Pac Man bits and then he pukes out like the key and the pretzel and the cherry. Yeah. Anyway, go it's on. So good. It's just like that. <laughs> Constantine picks up the cherry and pockets it, of course. Yeah, sure, sure. All right. Next one is Lust. This is going to be a straight check for you, Manticore. Uh, I I want to. Um, I'm concentrating on the disgusting smell of the soft serve vomit that got all over me since I was carrying our apps during that. Absolutely, yeah. Like anything to just like keep my eyes and uh, mind off of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm gonna spend a stress. <laughs> The beat, the beat is getting to you. Nothing straight about that check. Nope. Uh, <laughs> well, I got a small straight. I got a four, five, six. So I got two five. Yahtzee. Two <laughs> Rx, how are you doing? Oh, I didn't roll. I'm sorry. I was so caught up in the bone low of my teammates. <laughs> I got a success. Okay. Yeah, uh, Manticore, you're fighting it off. You're just focusing on everything you can to, like, Margaret Thatcher, you know, baseball, what have you. Most Wait, unsexy. Gillian Anderson, Margaret Thatcher, or real Margaret Thatcher? Real Margaret Real Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher. Okay, 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 good. <laughs> so, yeah, you managed to, to get through less, no problem. And you're back at the uh, main entrance. Uh, you see the turnstiles and the trains coming through. Guy there selling churros still. Oh. Mm. Excellent. Something right, doesn't now, seem right there. Wait, wait, wait. If I get food from hell and I take it outside of hell, what happens then? You didn't even oh, food outside of hell. All right. Uh, here, I'll take one of those fifty-dollar churros. They're, they're not dollars. They're salts. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure? I, I can give you. Uh, we got a deal. No, 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 it's probably going to turn out terribly. Thank you very much. Yeah, delicious. And he waves in front of you in the powdered sprinkle. Like, Stop, stop, stop. They are, they are delicious. Yeah. You should try It's one the extra two. long ones, too. They're like three feet. Look, he said he doesn't want it. And I'll push him back. Ah, oh, ah. He falls back. Ch- uh, churro dust all over him. You could just grab the churros if you want. Okay. Yeah, stealing from hell. That sounds like, well, we're already doing that. Okay, sure, why not? <laughs> the man who pickpocketed it really an hour ago. <laughs> stealing from hell. That's the line the Dodger doesn't cross. That was, that was like four, layer, four layers of hell ago. He's got a lot on his plate. <laughs> really? Um, Platting um, fratricide? Fratricide, yeah. It's family. Yeah. The real hell was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> Can't wait to meet these friends. Uh, yeah, we need that as a shirt. The real um, hell was the friends we made along the back way. Again. Now we just snap your little thing and go back. It was not too bad. It was a little bit where no, we thought. We, don't we have to go up one more level? He said something about limbo. We got to go to limbo and then snap the thing. That's um, really vague, Manticore. Uh, a river here. Didn't we have to cross it to get Looks in? Like we- Looks like we exited in a different location. What? Wait, what? Oh, is that Toontown over there? Okay, that makes sense. Yes. Look, I'm following you. You don't know where you're going? 
No, we're, we're not talking to you. Our ex is your like cat back. It's all right. Get your churro and let's go. She picks one of the churros up off the ground. Take it. It's off the ground. <laughs> well, now I don't want it. She blows it off. 10 second rule. Look, I'll, I'll hold on to it for later, but let's go. Come on. <laughs> Just don't eat it here. Yes. No, I know. I know. Okay, very good. Okay. Um, is that is that a problem? Do we need to? Um. Well, the river kind of acts like a barrier, so if we didn't cross it, we're not getting out. Uh, so we'll, moving water we'll... and all that, even if it's probably. fire. We should probably find where it's moved to. Um, this way, probably. She'll start walking off the river. Okay. And you start walking, and yeah, you you see it. Um. But it looks different than it did before. Uh, now it seems like it's a, a very th small river, uh, but it winds all about. Uh, and it looks much like the Jungle Cruise. Of course it does. I'm a river. <laughs> Bends. So Karen is there in her safari outfit, her hair looking as Karen as ever, as she greets people to get on the ferry, uh, as she greets people off the ferry. She's not used to people going the other way. Well, what do you all do? I don't know. Um... It isn't like a cursed member entrance or something? <laughs> uh, there is not. No, it's, it's cast member, C-A-S-T-E. There it is. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So Karen is there. Uh, she's unloading her last uh, charges. Um, what do you all do? I said the, the river is thinner, yeah? It is thinner, yeah. Still not jumpable? No, not for you, no. Lynn might be able to make it across. Just she just goes and sat, sits down. Dear, you're you're in the wrong, you're going the wrong way. No, you no, have to go that uh, way. We, we have a, we have a transfer. You see. I'm sorry. Well, we have a transfer to a different department. You know, intakes. Transfer, you know, and I'll let's go sit down too. This <laughs> this my arms. Sweetie, I don't care who are you transferring. No one's going anywhere. Constance just down. Transfer. Transfer. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, transfer. But we have orders. Transfer. Go to intakes. Do you want to explain? I will talk to your manager. The one thing she's scared of. Someone actually talking to her <laughs> manager. Oh, no. <laughs> ah, Wait, uh, hold, hold up a sec. Hold up. Wait, there's obviously been a misunderstanding. Sorry. Exactly <laughs> that. Yes. Thank you, Michael. Uh uh, she she immediately snaps too and uh, begins her sh her uh, her shtick, but in reverse, you know. Oh, there's our headless salesman. It's his sales are shrinking. Yada yada yada. <laughs> uh, and they take you through to the other side. Excellent. I, I, I will the jungle cruise in You're so cooperative. I won't mention this to your manager. Thank good you. Job. If you could leave me a good review, I'd appreciate it. Yeah. On on on. What is it? Well, not Yelp, but um... help, 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 <laughs> with two L's. <laughs> help. Waiting for it. I was like, someone will come up with better. Oh yeah, it's Karen you... with a Y. Yeah. Oh, the only, good. the only problem is it's the racist version of the Jungle Cruise, and that's saying something. <laughs> <laughs> the the explicitly racist. The one that Disney right designed past. personally. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's cruise right past that and <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna make any of the jokes about no. it. Just like <laughs> that's just the This uh we are the wrong shade to make any of those jokes. We are out of here. Indeed. Mm -hmm. yes. So uh you managed to get out of the jungle cruise and you hear in the distance uh a figure squawking in the air. It's a giant eye with you know, two arms. And wings, bat wings, bat wings. <laughs> uh, and he he sees you. What what does the figure say? 
Hellblazer! Shit, we've been made. And the Karen also up arrives in her own ferry, you know, chasing after you all. The back of the ferry is Bubby. The whole hey, don't forget about Bubby. <laughs> And it's a reunion. Um, see you next millennium. <laughs> okay, uh, you all join hands? Yes. Yeah, sure. oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You can hold hands this time. Good. Thought yes, so. Yes. He goes there and he, he snaps it with uh, his between his two fingers, and you all are back in Australia. You're out of hell. And you hear, you know, the, the three voices calling after you. Saying they'll get you, Lynn, and your little Hellblazer too. <laughs> She'll uh, send him a text and be like, like the, like sticking tongue out, like winky face, and be like, "He's mine this time." Damn, cold blooded. <laughs> She's oh. a demon, like a <laughs> force. <laughs> As you guys uh, exit, uh, you see the sun rising in the distance. Uh, what felt like three hours is now daybreak. Wait, maybe, what? Maybe you had more time in there than you thought. Wait, what? I told you, time works differently. Right? Yeah, but you said it was going to move slower. Except for the pods, it moves faster. Hey, at least we're out. <laughs> well, this has been fun. I will see you all later. Wait, what, so uh, what? A deal is done, correct? You read All done. Me. Taken oh. care of. Great. Perfect. What was that magical? Wonderful. I, I, I want to check. I want to check what day it is. Okay. Is it Monday morning or is it a different day? It is not Monday morning. What day is it? <laughs> hey, Nick, roll a d10. Oh, no. Okay. A d10. This game doesn't require D10. Oh, that's right. I know. That's that's why I don't have any of Okay, roll 2d6 right. then. No, no, I've got one. I've got one here. I just need to reach across. I'd forgotten where I put all these dice. One. Okay. It is Legit. One... I, I wouldn't lie. No, no, that's fine. It is actually one year later. <laughs> it's one year later? <laughs> so what happens when we come out in Australia? You go out in Australia, and it is a Amazon Fulfillment Center. Oh no, we're still in hell. <laughs> yeah. No, you see, Jeff Bezos is a demon. Uh, it's a long story. No, that sounds well, pretty short. I mean, he didn't no, seem like he was hiding it really that well. So I guess, I guess that's bad and mine's a short story. This no, this 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 can't be right. This can't be right. And I'm gonna run over and yeah. you know find a computer. Okay, you or or like a, some some other things to check the the date. No, that's fine. Yeah, you go to a computer. There's them in the workstation. The drones are flying around getting pissed off. No humans are actually there, but drones are. Checks out. Mm -hmm. uh, any drone that gets close to me, I'm just smacking into the... I'm, I'm like, destroying them. Okay. You know, like, smashing them into the wall, onto the floor, however they're coming towards me. Okay, yeah, no problem. you just batting them away, no problem. Uh... You check the uh, the date on the computer, and yeah, it sure enough, it shows that it has been one year later. Two thousand and twenty-two, right? No, 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 no! And I smash a smash a thing. Okay. What's the problem, darling? It's just a year. Hey, uh, you, Constantine. Is there any way to get back? Um. What's the problem? What's the problem? Time travel is not my thing. There's another bloke that does that. That's not me. Sorry. He runs really fast. He's got a treadmill. <laughs> Superman? Yes. Oh, sorry. I you I know I realized what you were saying. Yes. But Lynn is like Superman. Didn't we you got rid of him, right? Sorry, actually pause really quickly. John Constantine has one of my favorite lines about time travel in all of fiction. Ooh, what is it? I don't know how to time travel the same way as you do, mate. One minute in the time of the future. Anyway, there sorry, there you go. It's from the Books of Magic by Neil Gaiman. How oh, nice. I, uh, Manticore turns on Constantine and uh, I'm going to grab his, I'm going to grab him by the coat and the shirt in, in front of him. And I'm going to go, what did you do? 
I didn't do anything. You, you said three hours. Do you know what's happened here? I, do you have any idea about the problems? Where's my sister? I don't. I've been in there with you. Really, this is your fault. If you hadn't been trapped up in there with the, uh, you know, blast pit, we you probably would have gotten out there. No problem. I throw him, and he goes flying, smacks into a drone before setting himself upright and replacing his broken cigarette with a new one. Sorry, what's the problem, dear? A whole year has passed. So? Do you go outside? Some of us have things that are going on in our lives. Oh. If you can't deal with that, eternal demon, go fuck yourself. And I turn and I just I start heading towards the exit. I mean, I'm happy to help, but we can't go back in time. Uh, I'm not stopping. I'm leaving. Okay. Uh, as you step outside, uh, you notice larger drones all in the sky moving about. Um, but something seems off about them. Well, they're drones, so... Yeah, well, regardless. Larger, like, we didn't have large... You didn't have large drones flying drones yeah. in, in your time. Yeah. I, I know we've, we've gone to bad future, but that's fine. Uh, all of them bear the Superman symbol. Oh, God. <laughs> Yay! We left evil Superman here! <laughs> Lynn it's will, so good! Then we'll walk out after Manticore and be like, I'm so sorry, darling. Like, anything I can do to help? I'm... Manticore is... Uh, Lynn from Nick. Not mad at you. I'm having a great time. I hope you can go with this here. I'm fine. I'm fine. Manticore to I'm sorry. Manticore Nick, to Lynn. Nikki. Sorry. Okay. Manticore well, to Lynn. Okay, not even that. not even acknowledging you. Just just yeah. I'm no. I'm making a beeline for the for the orphanage. Okay. Uh so you start running and uh you feel this this compulsion uh with your steps. At first, it starts like a, you're running as fast as you can, and then your hops become bigger and bigger before you start bounding through the air. Manticore, oh. smash! <laughs> oh, uh, Eddie, it yeah. feels good to be out again. What? I don't have time for this. No, we don't. We need to get your sister. That's yeah. If she's yeah, important exactly... to you, she's important to me. Great. Yeah, we have to get Elizabeth. Yes. Spring. I don't know how your your leaps are. If they're like the Hulk, where you bound away, or if they're like Last Man, where you got springs that come up from under your feet. No, so... no, it's much more. It's much more Hulk like. It's okay. just like the, it's a new manifestation of the super strength. Mm hmm. Understood. So yeah, uh, as you arrive at the orphanage, you see it's in ruins. Jeez. No. No, I start. Uh, I like how, how ruins. What what are we talking about? Uh, like we're it's talking boarded about up or like it's literally a pile of rubble. Literally a pile of rubble. Think the old folks' home from the beginning of Thor Ragnarok. They are demolishing it as we speak. Oh wow! I'd forgotten that part. Thanks. Yeah, me too. Um, what are you, what are you doing? I, I, I'm gonna go start yelling at a uh, like a you know bulldozer or a you know crane operator or something. No, my my sister lives there. What are you doing? Uh, one of the guys is like, "Hey man, take it easy. It's not a, it's not our fault, you know." Take it. Take it easy. No, my sister lives there. What are you doing? And I'm going to start walking towards the, the entrance. I mean, what the, what's left of the building, as if there's still somebody there. Okay. Uh, you head over to the entrance, and, and no one, of course, is there. It is completely empty. Um, listen, buddy, you got to get out of here. I mean, I don't know if you're a meta or not, but, like, if Soup sees you, it's, it's bad news. This is the new... Uh, Hawk, uh, Dawkins site they're building. The, I, I, I don't, I don't care. What happened to the, what happened to the people living here? What happened to the, what happened to the orphanage? I don't know. You gotta talk, take it to the city. Maybe they'll know. <sighs> I, 
I I leave. <laughs> okay. As you move to leave, uh, three of the large drones encircle you, coming down. Uh, you three back at the Australia. What are you all doing? As your friend bounds off, do you give chase? Uh, I immediately log on to a computer and see what the hell is going on with Tyler Chemicals. Okay. Uh, it looks like Tyler Chemicals has developed a metahuman um, drug that they can give to take away a metahuman's powers. Wow, Bethany. Fuck me. Since they couldn't okay. learn to give it to them, they've learned to strip it away. Great. Which is a much That's easier great. ask. Great. And they have used it to wipe out most of the metahumans in the world. That would explain how soups could, you know, do his thing. It looks like it was a joint venture between LexCorp and uh, Dawkins Industry. Yeah, that's... You remember those drones that your family had at the uh, estate? Mm -hmm. These are souped up versions of them. Great. Great. Um, I, I still have my phone on me, right? Yeah, totally. But you got I'm no reception. Try. It's it's AT and T. <laughs> I thought we had left hell. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to try and call Bethany like immediately. Okay. Uh, you call Bethany and immediately goes to voicemail. This is bad. This is this is really really bad. Yeah, you think? Uh, just a little bit. Um, Lynn would turn to Constantine and say, "I thought you gave Superman back the rock. It seems like he's done a little bit since." I I well I didn't give it back to him. Um, so something weird happened with the rock. I think it's a type of kryptonite, uh, red kryptonite, and that does strange things. I gave it to Martian Manhunter and I think he did give it to Superman. Mm. And I think the exposure possibly drove him insane. Well, you see, your deal, the fine print, as it were, was to help us get Superman off our back. And you see, you haven't exactly done that if this is all going on. Listen, if you don't do anything to raise the suspicions, you're all good. You're cherry, mate. I don't know what the oh. rules are here. All good. You think this is all good? I mean, it's not great, but, you know, it's better than some realities. No, I believe you still owe us. You haven't fulfilled the agreement. What do you mean I owe you? I just explained it to you, darling. You know what? You're absolutely right. Let me just... And he blinks away. Because he's, he's John scared. effing Constantine. He's going to <laughs> shit the bed and leave. My job is done here. <laughs> I you have haven't done anything. Goodbye. She, she sends him a message online and says, you know, if you don't fulfill your agreement, I have a lot of demons that would like to know where you go. <laughs> he sends you back uh, another message. They can get in line. <laughs> So, back to Manticore and the three drones that are encircling you. Stop. Metahuman detected. Come peacefully and you will not be armed. Uh, I, I, I keep walking. You keep walking. They, uh, one gets directly in your path to prevent you from moving forward. This is your final warning. Come peacefully and you will not be hurt. Where is my sister? Uh, do you have your Manticore mask on? Um, no. Scanning. Scanning. <laughs> Sister detected. She's in holding cell 4421. Where is holding cell 4421? Arkham Asylum. I stiff arm it <laughs> and start walking towards towards uh, Arkham. Okay. Uh, you start walking. Uh, you've stiff armed it, and it is fighting against you, and it is actually putting up a good fight. Um, the other two ones 
fly higher up into a uh, position above you but behind, and they could give you one last warning to cease and desist. Do you continue pushing it through? Um... Yeah, I'm not letting these drones get in the way of uh, of getting my sister. So if this thing... Spray active, and it starts to emit this foam, uh, like from the uh, Ang Lee Hulk. Mm-hmm. For those of you that enjoy We that are one, in hell. <laughs> we are in hell. <laughs> this is the darkest timeline. Yeah, and it just kind of begins to spray you in this foam. And at first it, it hits you, and it's it's soft, it's light, but becomes immediately heavier. Uh, I grab this thing and I chuck it at one of the other ones behind me. Okay. Go ahead and give me a, a, a super strength check. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna spend a stress because I need to make this happen. Okay. <laughs> So it starts to spray. It starts to spray the the foam at me, and I grab like whatever nozzle that it's coming out of, or whatever recess opens up to to spray it, mm-hmm. and I use that as a handhold, uh, and just take it and turn and chuck it at the at one of the at one uh, the one on the left. Okay, perfect. Me. And it goes flying, and it crashes into it, and the two new system failure, and crash to the side. Uh, there's still one more spraying foam at you, and you're going to go ahead and take uh, incapacitated one, and it's going to be for your foot. It's, it's being bound up. Okay. Uh, the three of you, you hear this giant explosion somewhere in the city of Gotham. What do you all do? Shit. It came from the direction Manticore ran off in. <clears throat> you know where he could have gone? Yeah, I have an idea. I do too. We can't leave him alone. No. Let's, let's go after him then. Okay. So, Dodger, you're going to uh, super speed run. Lynn, you're going to teleport. And, uh, Michael, you're going to Apache Chief. <laughs> yes. In a truck. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Uh, so you... If I spilled that coffee, I can't grow anymore. <laughs> God, that's such a good show. I miss it. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Uh, oh. Yes. So you all take off. Before long, you uh, arrive at the site where Manticore is doing battle with one of the flying drones. Uh, it has evaded your attacks, and you two have evaded its. What are you going to do, Manticore? Uh, I'm going to jump at it. Okay. I'm going to jump on it and uh, and drive it into the ground. Like, jump on it and pile drive it down. Okay. Uh, give me that check. Super strength. <clears throat> that is two successes. Perfect. Uh, describe it as you jump atop it. So I jump atop it and I rip off like the are these are they helicopter blades or is it like anti grav? Uh, I'd I'd go anti grav. Okay, so I rip off the anti grav unit and chuck it, and as we plummet, I uh, fist down in into it, and as my extra success to make a change, I'm going to say that I end up with the. Uh, um, like the memory chip from okay. it, like that's just something that I grabbed onto uh, with my hand from from inside of it. Perfect. Okay. All right. So yeah, you all arrive there as you see him dismantling it. You hear the sounds of sirens in the distance. Headed your way. What What did the What did the uh, deconstruction crew do? Uh, did they take off? Are they watching? What's how are they responding? Oh, they're taking off. They're not going to... A metahuman fight. First off, they haven't seen one of those in months, uh, so they're getting out of there. Because okay. metahumans bring Superman, and Superman is bad news for everybody. You got to see what okay. he did to Metropolis. Leveled it. He tried to save it. Okay. 
these things detect people with powers and they're all over I barely got here and these three swarm me that certainly is a problem for you but I'm happy to help um, what what what's why are you here what, what, what is this place this is where my sister lived Oh, who I was trying to get out of the system. And now she's in Arkham. Oh, we have to break her out then. In room in unit number 266. Why is the second jailbreak of the yeah. New Year who this? <laughs> All right. So that's what we do. Damn it. Sorry, I keep putting myself on mute. Yes, that's what we do. <laughs> <clears throat> but they've got some sort of detector or whatever. Can can we do anything with this? Dodger, you might have uh, some familiarity with the tech or RX, possibly. I can take a look at it. I mean, yeah, I can definitely take a look, too. I did some repairs. Right now, it's probably a good idea to get off the street for sure, especially if you're in the mm -hmm. middle of a fight. Mm -hmm. There were no humans in the Amazon Fulfillment Center no, that was not. Australia, right? No. Why don't we go check where Ivy was? I did give her the pomegranate. Maybe we should help. That's going to be interesting, I'm sure. I mean, do you have yeah. better... What, when did the pomegranate show up? <laughs> That's it why it up. seemed like it showed up instantly for you. Yeah. It showed up. Oh, I didn't. Okay, I didn't hear that. But oh, but it had in the past so at some point. <laughs> yeah. Well, my um... thought was if we go back to Australia, and as much as it freaks me the hell out, um, bide our time, let things cool down in the uh, the root cellar. I don't really want to be turned into a tree. Um... I think that we'd stand a better chance getting some help and getting Nazakul's sister out. I, I think you'd want to do that as soon as possible. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. But we need to find a place where we can plan this attack. We can't just go in there, guns blazing. I mean, they have no way of uh, prepping their defenses, so they That's don't expect any metahumans. That's why I was saying to check on Ivy, assuming she's still around. Look, they scanned me. So they know that I'm here. But they don't know the rest of you are here. So maybe we should split up. No. Mm -hmm. So I don't put you at risk. No, we not stick even together. Option. It's quite all right. Listen, if metahumans are criminals in this world, then we signed up for what we started on, it seems like only a month and a half ago. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how this is going to end up, but I know that family is more important to me than anything, and I'm sure it's the same for you, Manticore. Sorry, I'll try to manage my voice. <laughs> I'm not human, but I am happy to help. And I'd also despise all of my millions of siblings. But that's neither here nor there. It seems like you care for your sister, and I'm quite happy to help. Also, I might have an idea to get us some more metahuman help. Oh. You leave that to me. Let's just find our way to Arkham. All right. So, should we check and see if Ivy's still around? Mm-hmm. That can give us an idea of how bad this is. If they took Ivy out, we maybe know what we're dealing has, with. Maybe she also needs the help now. Okay, so uh, you guys managed to find some place to hide out and keep a low profile at an internet cafe, more or less, so that you can buy some time and use the internet to figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. After a bit of research, uh, you find out that 
Superman imposed uh, his supreme rule over the world. That he had a snap, a break in reality, and he had decided to take care of everything himself. And he used LexCorp technology along with Dawkins and Tyler Chemicals to do so. Tyler Chemicals was used to neutralize superpowers. Dawkins was used to help facilitate the drones along with LexCorp. Uh, Manticore, you find out that your sister uh, was transferred through the system, uh, but was constantly saying that her brother was coming back, her brother was going to be here, um, and ran away from everyone's everyone that tried to adopt her and what have you, and so had her eventually committed. Um, you find that uh, uh, Ivy has taken over Canada. So all of Canada her. is now Ivy territory. Wow. Even from Superman? Even what from Superman. Wow. She's, She's one now poison Ivy. Maybe, <laughs> maybe she could still help. Ivy. Ivy. <laughs> my point still stands. Also, I'm going to think to the, the voice in my head, I'm going to think, do you know anything that would cause this? Cause what, dear? Well, you see... It sounds like that little rock that you were in was some kind of kryptonite that caused this. Kryptonite? I've never heard of it, dear. Oh. And what what were you supposedly imprisoned in then? Oh, hell if I know, but it sucked. It put me to sleep for a very long time, and I'm just aching to be out. And your hand shoots up again and runs through your hair. Ooh, and you get who, a little more control. That's fun. Who, who are you, exactly? Oh, you can call me Morgana. Le Fay, of course. Of course. Jeez, wow. That one. Yes, I, I do. I do remember Merlin and Arthur running around. Oh, um, that pissant. Yes. He's a little bit too good of a goody two shoes. Well, we don't like that, do we? Hmm. We don't like mm. the goody two shoes. Hmm. Do you want to take them down a peg? I can help you. I can show you a few things. Well, there used to be no more goody two shoes than Superman. I almost said Spider Man. (laughs) Who? I don't know a Spider Man. What? Superman. There's no more. You know, he's from those comic books. Oh, the kids read. Yes. (laughs) Oh, there's plenty of souls we can corrupt, I can guarantee it. And after seeing what you owe in hell, I'm happy to help. Yes. Um. Unfortunately, here I am a little limited in my capacity to do so. I do need my bones. Mm, you see, I don't want to lose this flesh suit. But you can just get a new one, can't you, dear? Uh, so you're saying you want this flesh suit? I mean, for the time being. We can share it while you're asleep. Not a big yes. deal. No, uh, I think that we can share it while I'm awake. And I think when I sleep, you need to sleep. I think that's only fair. You see, it would be a little bit difficult for me to procure a new one. You see, I don't have many friends back in hell. I kind of burned those proverbial bridges. I friends? Might Who needs friends? Don't worry about that. Um, so it's a little hard to procure a new flesh suit, is my point. Well, we'll figure something out. Don't you worry about that, sweetie. No, no, no. What my was what needs to be figured out specifically is is that you don't try to take over my body because then we'll have a bit of a problem. Don't worry about that. Listen, you just need to focus on your friends and helping them find their sister. Yay! Ra um, ra. Yes. Um. Perhaps you could be of help with that if you're a powerful witch and all. A witch. Oh. Those Americans? Disgusting. All right. What is it you have to say? I'm a sorceress, sweetheart. I'm sorry. Don't call me an American again, but I'm a demon, not You called me a witch, so you started it. Very well. <clears throat> uh, you see, I wasn't... What I is wasn't it you need? Uh, I could need your help at the situation my friends and I are facing. All right. Well, explain what you need of me, and I... I'm happy to oblige. You must have some sort of sorcerer's powers that you could lend me. Of course. What do you need? You're not saying what you want done, dear. 
man. Do you no, need to go sure. somewhere? Get something? Get someone? Yeah. Currently, it's breaking up manticores. She's having this conversation openly with you all. She has lost the control to keep it in her head. And you're hearing half of this. <laughs> oh. She probably thinks she probably thinks it is still in her head, though. <laughs> yes, you think so. You're like, yeah. they don't know I'm talking to myself. <laughs> yeah. This is somehow worse than when you were doing manticore. Is it so? Is it two different voices? Are we getting Lynn and also you're getting yeah some sultry little that's also Morgana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh God. Um. Well, to help Manticore's sister was part of the plan. The other part of the plan would maybe be to contact a really powerful enemy against Superman, like Poison Ivy. We can help with both of those things. We work something out after all. Of course no, I can. Do you want her sister? Do you want that done right now? I can do that. What, what is the price? I'm, I'm quite familiar. Wait, what? You can do what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she like, like, come... excuse, you can... excuse me. What? What? What's yeah? You're doing a two voice thing, and and the other the other the other you said that she but, could get my sister. It's kind of like a Schmeagel thing I, where she's like turning and it. talking to herself. Gollum style. Yeah. Don't don't be silly. I, I was just sitting here, um, enjoying my my lovely coffee, human coffee. Thing. I turn and I look at Dodger and RX and and like raise my eyes and, and my hands like. Oh. Gonna back me up here, guys. I mean, this is unorthodox to say the least. Yeah, I'm gonna say even for metahumans, talking to yourself is never a good thing. Oh dear, this is, um, well, <clears throat> sorry about that. She's not um, talking to herself, and she t exerts control, and you feel yourself almost put into, a, like, the sunken place. You can no. see this happening, but you have no control. I'm oh. going to try to fight it. Can I, can I roll a check? You check can, me. but it's going to, even if you succeed, it's, you'll be able to break out sooner, but you're in that area for this minute. Okay. So she exerts control over you and uses your body to stretch first and foremost and scratch the back of her head. She's been dying to do that for years. Um, <laughs> yes, I am the Morgana. Yes, you want your sister? I can get her for you. No problem, my dear. And she squeezes your face, Manticore. Uh, is that all that you want, your sister? I can make that happen. And, of course, Lynn just exerts herself back there and taking over control. I was going to say I got a six. A six. What? <clears throat> Sorry about that. What's the cost? There's there's always a cost. I've been living out on my own long enough to know there's always a price. What do you want? Let's just call this rent. Yeah, I don't think we need your help. This is a family matter. Well, all right then. I'll just be back here taking a nap. Wait, I, I don't think we should. I mean, I'm all for her taking a nap, but I don't think that we should turn it down necessarily. We just lost a year of our lives because of magic. You have to understand that we're a little uncomfortable to do anything that might cost us that much or more again. You won't have to go anywhere or do anything. I'll handle all of it. And I'll do this free of charge. Again, Let's just call this a down payment on the unit. Yeah, like Manticore said, there's no such thing as a free lunch. It's not free, my dear. No, she's she's offering to oh, she's oh, offering indeed. to pay. <laughs> she's but, saying that this is owed already. This yes, you see, this is I am um, the one and the one sacrificing something right now, not to you. I'm um, just like I already made a deal on our behalf. So, so far, it's been me sacrificing the most. I'm actually pretty altruistic for a demon, aren't I? <laughs> I'm quite the saint. Anyways, I'm happy to try to... Yeah, the card is just, like, staring at you like, what? <laughs> <laughs> for being so... I'm such a good person that I'm willing to try to negotiate something, and she seems to have agreed. Mm -hmm. so and last time you negotiated something with a supernatural being, we lost a fucking year. Oh, you see, that was Constantine's problem, not mine. I totally abdicate all responsibility for that. Amateur magicians, you know how they are. 
Oh. No, but so what? What do you need? What do you need to bring Elizabeth here? Permission, of course. I need to use this vessel. <laughs> Consent is sexy, I hear. I mean, uh, it is sexy. I'm a demon, not a monster. <laughs> I, uh, Manticore stares at Lynn. Uh, well. All right. If, I'll do it for you. Done. I just want right. to go on record and saying I don't think this is a good idea. And, and she I'm is apparated. It. She is gone. There's a small <laughs> puff. And a few seconds later, she has reappeared, except with cat eyes now, um, with your sister. It takes her a minute. She shakes him out uh, before returning to Lynn's normal eyes. And your sister is very thin, sees you, and just wraps her arms around you. Oh my god! Uh, uh, and I just, you know, I'm I'm hugging her, and we're doing the whole, uh, you know, if, if she's talking, then we're sort of doing the talking over each other. And I'm so sorry. And you know, I never meant to leave you, and... No, I know. I knew you'd be back. I knew you would. She's taller, of course. She's, you know, becoming a woman now, so... Changes have occurred. Sure. That's not... That's not appear on our men writing women. <laughs> yeah. Um, but... So do I have control of my body back, or is she like... Oh, yeah, you have control. Um, there we go. Quite simple. Mm-hmm. See, aren't I a lovely person? I'm not a person, but no, does anyone else want anything? <laughs> no, I'm good. No, no, that, that was quite enough. You nope, paid... I'm all right. Thank I you. I could have sworn there was some fresher side that was promised. You've paid yeah. what you earned for the time being. Thank you. Ah, oh, sorry. Stop beating <gasps> yourself up, dear. It's not your fault. <laughs> I want to like pay more than you, I'm sure. Well, I'm game if you are. Mm -hmm. Literally, I have no choice. Talk to you later then. Goodbye, oh, going then. to sleep? All right then. Uh, you stretch out your arms without your uh, control, uh, and she goes quiet. Uh, Eddie, you. that was real weird. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, st strictly, strictly mentally. Now I, I, I go. Yeah, I know. Was, was that 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 that's that's not one of yours? No, right. that's difference. I'm sorry. Did you say something? No, no, no. I was just being, uh, you know, just nodding in agreement and and hugging and holding on to Elizabeth. Okay. So yeah. Uh, um, well. What next? I again suggest Ivy. Um, I I am I feel like the best person in this group now. Um, the most self-sacrificing at least. So I would suggest maybe that. I mean, and then we could go murder your brother. Um, if is he's already corrupted though. He's already definitely going to hell, right? Killed his mom. Yeah. So yeah. So Literally gestures at everything. Yes, you're right. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm just spitballing. She checks her email. Uh, you um, hear the voice whisper, but the dad is good. I want to sleep. <laughs> Look, this is this is not this is not right. This is not a good place. We need to find if there's other people who are fighting against this, and there's got to be people. It's only been a year. What about that? There have to be other people. What about Anarch? What about, uh, yeah. you know, other, other, what about the heroes? Where are the heroes? If only what someone had your... a card to reach out to a was... hero. I'm working on it. I was waiting for an appropriate time to bring it up. I was going to say, what about that, that night chicken? Oh, what was his name? Night Wang. <laughs> I told you that in confidence. Um... <laughs> I was going to hold that Night Wang. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to, well, first I'll do a quick, uh, what our universe's version of Google is, and see what news there is about Nightwing, which, <laughs> I mean, he's certainly not a metahuman. Yeah. 
So him and the whole Bat family are essentially uh, enemy number one. They're persona non gratis. Uh, they are wanted. Uh, they have eluded capture. Uh, all except for Damian Wayne, who had been captured very early on and killed. That kid. Darn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. But yes, the other Bat family, they are out and about uh, fighting against Superman's regime. Including Commissioner Gordon? Including Commissioner Gordon. <laughs> Well, Commissioner Gordon actually is working within the system as best he can, because that's just the type of cog he is. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm mm-hmm. gonna I'm gonna send I'm gonna I'm gonna get a new phone because I'm sure my burner phone from a year ago is gone and sure. not working. Get a new burner phone. Send him a text to the number on the card. You got wings. It's Who been this? a hell of a year. Top hat burger. Oh. <laughs> he sends you back. I've never been stood up by someone so handsome. Oh my god. <laughs> we should meet up. Know someplace private? Winky face? Absolutely. There's this hip joint downtown. And he gives you the address of what used to be the Gotham Bean. Oh no. But it's no longer the Gotham Bean, it's the Gotham Baked Bean. The Superman baked it. No. The Superman would just make a statue of himself. Instead of being chrome, it's now Vanta Black. Exactly. <laughs> and ever ever calls it the baked bean. Oh, Perfect. God. Yes. That would be like terrifying to look at. It's like a void. <laughs> it is. <laughs> All right, I'll text back. Sounds good. I'll um tonight? Question mark. Uh hits you back with the time. See you then. Winky face, winky face, winky face. Okay. So, uh what do you all do to pass the time until then? I want to try to see if there's a way I can reach out to Ivy and connect to call to Canada. I'm gonna call Canada, please. No one calls Canada anymore. <laughs> no technology exists in Canada whatsoever. If you want to get to Ivy, you got to physically go there. And I hear Canada is a pretty big place, so. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, but once you get up there, it's easier to get a hold of her. You just need to use the grapevine. Uh, oh damn it! Nick. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. You go ahead and you get take away one of those stress. You can have one. Oh, of thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, if only there's someone I knew around who could track people. If only there was somebody. Don't want to talk to Constance in the end. <laughs> who does, dear? <laughs> Thought you were asleep. Yeah, but even she knows Constantine. Well, That's how as, much of an asshole he is. <laughs> as you agreed, I sleep when you sleep. Uh, I'm awake <laughs> when you're awake. I'll just be quiet then. Of course. Uh, you got a ping on your phone, RX. Hmm. Uh, it is uh Bethany. Okay. She's just texting me, or is she calling? Yes, she's like, she gives you your name. She's like, all right, is that you? Yeah, what's going on? Where did you go? Been busy. No kidding. I've tried to reach you. And of course, if you look, you've got like a thousand messages. Um, Sure, sure. Much of which you've deleted because they have that like ninety day thing where they hang in there and then fall off. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But whatever. Still, she's been feverishly <laughs> trying to reach me. Yeah, uh, I've uh, been to hell and back. I think we should talk. I do too. Where are you? Safe. Well, I'm glad to hear that. But where? Where do you want to meet? Tyler Chemicals. No. 
Why not? It it would be very bad to go near there. Where do you want to meet? I don't know. A last date? Old time's sake. Well, no one else would know to meet us there. Tyler Chemicals has become Dawkins Chemicals now. It's a long story. But no, we can't go there. Especially okay. you of all people. When you find out what you were missing, you're going to kick yourself, by the way. Was it Tar? I think it's Tar. It was Kale. It was Kale the whole time. <laughs> Damn. Knew it. I have a bigger plan, but I'm going to need your help to execute it. Of course. Where? Uh, what time? Two hours. All right. Same bat time, same bat place. Sounds mm-hmm. good. Lynn, find Ivy. I have something that I think is going to fix this. All right. Um, I'll do my best. <laughs> See you in four months. <laughs> she looks at her phone and goes, no one else to call. And then she calls Constantine. <laughs> Sorry, the bloke you're trying to reach is unavailable right now. I know He's in that's between dimensions. You. I know Goodbye. that's you. Click. I'll give you. Uh, she calls again. Take a hint. Click. She call, She she texts and say, "I will need to make a deal." You hear a, a tisking coming from the back of your head. Why are you debasing yourself, this magician? <laughs> Oh, so you have you can make me a better deal then? Yes, dear. I want to teach you. The magic of this world is so raw and unused. And what would you get out of this? An apprentice, number one. Someone to help carry on my legacy. Is that really what you desire? That's all I've ever wanted was for people to remember my name. And power, of course, you know, just power. But you know. Mm. Can I can I do like a insight? Charismatic trait and see like how she if she, like if kind of like a sense motive to everything. Sure, go ahead. Mm, one success. You sense that she is telling the truth, that she does want to train you legitimately, that she does want to make you her apprentice. Um, but from what you remember about Morgana, is that she always looks for an apprentice to train and teach. Uh, there was a young individual, I forget his name, off the top of my head, uh, so forgive me. He's still floating around, causing havoc in his own way. But, yes, she loves sowing chaos, and to do so, teaches people magic. You mean uh, Mort- Mordred? Yes. Arthur's yeah. kid? Exactly, I do, thank you. I do like chaos, all right. If you can help me find Ivy right now. Absolutely. Do you want her right now, right now? Well, relatively. Okay, well, I need consent, and then we can go from there. Fine. All right. She takes over your body once more. Cat eyes appear. Uh, she teleports you to Ivy's den. Where she is sitting there in uh, slacks, not slacks, in in sweatpants, uh, her hair is all whatever, and she's watching TV. She... What's she watching? I must know. Maury, of course, because Maury is still on. Oh, well. It's comforting in a way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sh- excuse you? What are you doing in my house? Hello again. Did you get my delivery? Uh, how do you think I managed to set this all up? Thank you, by the way. You're welcome. I was wondering, um, can we partner up? Um, let me check my schedule. <laughs> I'm not doing shit. Yeah. Um, you see, we want to take down Superman. <laughs> okay, no. But thank you for stopping by. I see Harley Quinn is over there. You can hang out with the other psychos. We, we, we might have a plan. You see, one of my compatriots is. He's connected to, I believe it's called Dawkins Chemicals now. Uh, the place that's taking away everyone's powers? Yeah. What about it? Yeah. And there are chemical plants. I figured you would want to blow them up. 
oh yeah, that's why there's none around Canada. And unfortunately, soup burns my vines any time I step foot out of it. It's both oh. my paradise and my prison. If you'd at least be open to seeing what his plan is, that would be appreciated. Sure. Where are they? Uh, are they in your hats? Did you bring them with you? No, I, I can go get them. Um, and if you have, you said Harley Quinn is with you. If multiple people want to join in. It would be appreciated. I'm sure we could blow things, more things up. I'm sure we can get a couple of rogues together if the plan works. But yeah, yeah just get back to me. Um, she writes down a number, gives you her cell number. Oh, well, I, I usually don't save numbers, but since she like texts it in her pocket. <laughs> <laughs> well, figure it out. Um, we'll be here. Let us know what the plan is. And uh, if it sounds good, we're in. Marvelous. And then she'll think like, all right, we can go back. <laughs> of course, dear. <laughs> You're back where you were. Uh, I, it has been 30, 40 minutes since she had left. Is now reappeared. Um, is our our ex is there still? Yes, everyone is here. Um, Are you all headed off to the baked bean, the Gotham baked bean? Well, once uh, Lynn returns, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, I I found her, and it seems like some of her friends as well. So they are interested at least here in your proposal, though of course apprehensive about taking down the Superman. So I did make him bleed. I will say that. No, now that I think of it, it might have been the same. But still. You can't teleport people, right? Might be able to now with some help of my compatriot or... Your roommate? Yes, I darling. like roommate. Yes, that's a good one. I'm the roommate. <laughs> when you teleport, is there any sort of Eddie, Eddie, I'm your roommate too. <laughs> I, I let's am get, your let's roommate. Let's get pizza. Let's get yeah. Let's stay up late and watch TV. Come on, Eddie. You never do the dishes, Eddie. <laughs> the shower is disgusting. Listen, if you can't teleport me, there is something potentially that I would need you to so carefully teleport to Ivy, and then I need to speak with her over the phone. What I have in mind is complicated but it just might work to undo a lot of things that have happened in the past year. I can teleport you with the help of my <clears throat> roommate, um, but Ooh, I um, like that word. be on your best behavior, all right? I know, I know I am the best and most kind person of this group, but, you know, just because I'm altruistic doesn't mean you all are always altruistic. Now, I, I might be digging a hole for myself, so I'll be quiet there. So are you ready to go? Not yet. I I need to meet somebody first. Oh, right. All right. Where are we meeting them? The baked bean. Ah. Should we teleport there as well? I think we can get there incognito. <laughs> All right. I mean, Guys, I'm 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 out. What do you mean you're out? I can't take Elizabeth into this situation. And I can't leave her here alone. We could maybe take her to Canada. She'll be safe there. She'll never be truly safe until this is dealt with. Or we could all just go to Canada and call it a day. Though there's not probably many nightclubs open. Do you, do you see what's happening? <laughs> yeah, and I don't, I don't like it. I don't think this is good, and I... And and someone needs to stop it. But I'm not a hero. I'm here to save my sister. And so now that you have, you're just out. Well, what do you want me to do? Look, no, stop, everyone, please. Eddie, we get it, okay? We get it. Look, all I wanted to do throughout all of this was to make enough money so I could fuck over the people who fucked me over and get back my respect in the eyes of my family. And it seems like that is a pretty long shot right now. But He's chomping at my I am smart enough that I can pull off the one stunt that I had saved just in case circumstances were right to undo any bad things that might have been done. I, I can't do it without you. 
I for one have faith in you, Arms, in your very big brain. Uh, I'm I'm going to, for this, I'm going to assume that uh, Elizabeth is sleeping somewhere since yeah. she has not chimed in or said anything. She's had um, several scones and is passed out. Okay. Look, my the only reason I got into this was was to protect her, and yeah, this is a this is a shit world for for her to be in right now, and I want to protect her and so if we can do something about it that's great but i can't put her at risk in order to run off and try and fix the world what if we put her in canada wait With aren't you all risk? who just <laughs> drop her off in canada <laughs> and what you think you're gonna be able to keep her safe they're looking for you she is more at risk with you. If we leave her there, and then we do whatever Arx's plan is, we we can keep her safe permanently. How can I trust anyone to look after her? No one has done it before now. I'm the only person she has. I'll make sure she's armed. Lynn? How? Don't teleport me up there. Teleport his sister. Make sure Ivy's keeping her safe. I can do everything I need to remotely. Like I said, I just need to get her on the phone. Ivy seems reasonable. I'm sure that we can work out something. I think it's better if I stay here. You know, if you want, you can just put her in my sanctum. What? Where is, where what? Is... Your what? My sanctum. It's a little hideout between dimensions. It's got okay, a full so staff you... there. Do you trust and, my and a cat, apparently. So, hmm. you, so my roommate or Ivy, it's your choice. Though being with you seems like the most dangerous option. No offense, Dave. I am, I am doing this all out of the goodness of my heart. I am a good person. Don't strain yourself, darling. <laughs> I'm not going to make choices without talking to her. She's had enough of that. That's fair enough. So I will um I'm going to I'm going to wake her up. Okay. Huh. Oh, your friend's hey. back. Hey, yeah, um we have a real situation here and uh, I I trust you, and I don't want to make any decisions without your thoughts and input. Um, I am a meta. And, what does that mean? Well, I assume she she's lived in this world. She would know what that is, right? More or less. Like it's okay. not necessarily slang for the common folk. Like it is something that people that are in the know know. Okay. Um, Isn't that a I, bad thing? I have powers, and I hid them from you for a long time and was working to find us a place where we could get you out of the system and, and live. Um, but right now, there's something very dangerous going on. I'm I'm not a bad person, but I need to make sure that, that you're safe so I have a couple of choices here and I wanted to talk to you about them okay. and I'm going to leave and I'm going to leave uh, and I'll explain all the situation we don't need to RP it because I know we're coming up on time um, what do you what do you want to do I think. Do you trust your friend? Because Ivy's a villain and a bad guy. But this Morgana person I've never met. And if you trust her and she trusts her, then going there sounds like the best place. 
That's what friends do. They trust each other, right? Uh, and I look over at Dodger and say, yeah, yeah, they, they trust each other. Um, all right. I, that, let's, Lynn, can we, can we, Morgana, can we do that? Absolutely, darling. Do we want to go there now? I can open a little door for you right now. Uh, I look over at Elizabeth with a questioning look. Uh, yeah. I mean, can I get coffee to go? Or hot chocolate? Sure, yeah. Uh, yeah, of, of, of course. We'll do something. And I will, I'll, I'll be back soon. It won't be, it won't be a year. Oh, you're not going to make sure I get there, okay? It's just going to wave me off? All right. No, I... <sighs> Dolly, if you want, we can go in. You wouldn't have to just stand at the doorway. It's not going to bite. Then, then yes, of course. Good. Uh, Lynn, your body gets up, and you walk towards the... the uh, Essentially, the, the the closet where the uh, the mop and everything is are, um, you scratch onto the door with your nails some sigils, and the door transforms and becomes like this beautiful mahogany with a beautiful frame. Uh, she turns the knob, and inside is this very posh, very warm, inviting castle. A uh, huge library, roaring fire, food is laid out on this. Uh, silver tray servants, unseen servants mill about waiting for any command or need that you may have oh it feels good to be home, come on dear don't dawdle this is quite nice actually yes this can be your base of operations as it were I wouldn't say no uh can can I get some hot chocolate? An unseen servant just appears and apparates a thing of hot chocolate in a like an old steiny mug type deal. Okay. Uh, then I pass that over to, to Elizabeth and she looks over to the figure. Marshmallows? They <laughs> appear magically. Is there anything um, the rest of you want? Shower perhaps? Oh, that sounds lovely. Here, that lust level was a real mess. You were there. I you know. Were talking. <laughs> I chose to just enjoy the ride, dear. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> so I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, unseen servants guide you all to separate rooms if you so choose to take a nap, shower. Change your clothes. You find copies of your same clothes, freshly pressed and cleaned. Any equipment you may need. All there, magically conjured. Uh, I put the uh, I put the new Manticore mask on. Ooh, all right. What does uh, the new one look like? We'll figure it out. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Just Manticore 2.0. Yeah. Um, and actually probably put a shirt on now since I'm not covered in uh, techno-organic circuitry. So probably just like a a turtleneck, okay. a black turtleneck uh, to go over. And then the uh, maroon pants, the maroon gi. All right, sounds good. You get suited up. Does she try to alter Lynn's outfit at all, or is she just... Uh, if <laughs> anything, she makes the skirt a little longer. <laughs> she doesn't wear a skirt. She wears pants. <laughs> That's right, you wear pants. Uh, you, then the tails of your shirt are now longer. Interesting. All right. I prefer robes, but I understand this is what you're comfortable with. I'm not going to rearrange the furniture, as it were. Yeah, at least for work absolutely does your your friends want anything do you i'm assuming she just uses me as a mouthpiece at this point 
Mm. Told you, you're my roommate. Yes, roommate. Part of the team, rah rah team. You know, for being so, so for criticism, calling me American, you do use this term roommate, whereas what? I know, flatmate, but when you're in Rome, do as the Romans, have an orgy. Well, here we can have an orgy, just not down there. No, I, I think I'm good. I've had enough supernatural things for the last year. Are you um, right, Dodger? I'm, I'm so sorry about your mom. Yeah, not my main concern. Um, but I, I want to figure out what's going on so I can deal with my brother and start fixing this. Maybe this is a quite nice place. Oh, you're talking about back there. Yeah, the hell on earth that we just left? Yes, I am. Pay attention, dear. Jeez. Context clues. Honestly. But let's... I'm ready. Let's... I've got a... I've got a date, apparently. All right. Rx, so you want me to get you connected with Ivy right now? You don't want to go yourself? No. I, I need to do something on this end, and I need to make sure it's right before I present it to Ivy. In that case, let's do that first. You need us to accompany you. Yes. Very well. Okay. So, uh, we fast forward in time. There really isn't much more time to jump to uh, before you need to be at the... Gotham baked bean. Yes. I do want to do one thing. What's that? that? I want to message the demon that helped me with the order, and I want to say, if I give you all of Constantine's information, can I get a few souls discount? Are you, are you kidding? He posts that stuff on the toilet. I mean, it's not like it's hard to get. It's just he's hard to get. Mm hmm. What if I got him for you at some point? Listen, if you got him for me, I will wipe the sweet slate clean and owe you. Sweet queen. Sweet queen. There you go. Sweet awesome. queen. My new Scott band. Calling it. Sweet <laughs> queen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so jump to the Gotham Baked Bean uh, where Nightwing is waiting for you, Dodger, on one of the rooftops. Same rooftop that you hung out and met that sniper so uh he has his hair is super long now really Can't not not a why. yeah right uh not practical for fighting crime but you know damn it he loves it it's almost like a mullet not quite but does he have cheeseburgers of course <laughs> he has cheeseburgers i like the uh new look Oh, thanks. I thought I'd try something a little different. Oh. Got your favorite. Food. You know, it's been a long time since I've had food. Where you been? Hell. No, really, where you been? No, really. Hell. Oh, shit. Yeah, right. it's a it's a long story for a, a later date. Realizing he said date. Trying to shake it off. Um, so... Adam, what happened? Cat, no, he's still down here. Well, I'm sure you've been updated, but if not, uh, Superman went crazy and he recounts everything. The JLA tried to stop him. The first person he took out was Martian Manhunter. Uh, the Flash was nowhere to be seen. Apparently he's trying to do something with time, but I think he's stalking the... What is that thing called? Speed Force. The Speed Force. Uh, woman or woman has retreated to Themyscira to help protect their borders. Aquaman has retreated to Atlantis to protect his. And, uh, well, everyone's kind of in a free-for-all. And my cat is going crazy. Well, it's nice to know when the going gets tough, the hero's going to protect their own. What about you? 
Are you here protecting Gotham alone? Well, me and, you know, Batgirl, we're doing what we can, and we're kind of spread very thin. Look, one of my compatriots says he has a plan. He hasn't gone to do specifics yet, but I trust him. And I think that the more hands on deck we have for this, the better. You said you wanted to team up. I think saving the world would be a good start. Yeah. All right. We can make that our third date. <laughs> Smile. Um, great. Uh, so, uh, what? No fries? Only if you have that shake. They, you two flirt and enjoy your burger, and a small bit of calm is restored back to you after everything that's happened. Yeah. Um, Rx, your contact, Bethany, appears and looks ridiculously like a spy with a trilby and, you know, a trench coat with the things pulled up and sunglasses, mm. and it's like, you now look more conspicuous by trying to look inconspicuous. She looks like she's on spy versus spy, yeah. Bethany. What? I didn't want anyone to know it was me. You've always been a train wreck, and you know what? It's an awful thing to say to someone you haven't seen in a year. I have so many conflicting feelings for you, and I'm going to be really honest with you. All I need right now is access to a lab. And I have people who will help me gain access to the lab, but I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. What do you need a lab How for? How have you lived over the past year? I'm sorry? How have you lived over the past year? Well, as one of the last few remaining members of the board, I've done all right for myself. I've tried to rein in the more radical ideas. Um so do you really want me to get into them? Yes. And involve yes, chemical do. castrations of certain people. And I have managed to stop that. Mm. It's bad enough that they've taken away superpowers from a lot of people. They were going to cross lines. Big lines. At least now everyone's on the even playing field, more or less. So I put my hands on top of her hands. She looks like panicked for a minute, but lets it sit there. And I lean in a little closer to get to her ear. She tilts her head. It's an incredibly simple protein sequence, and you're going to kick yourself when I tell you what it is. But I need to be able to develop a sample, and I have a distribution system. Once done... The Superman problem won't be a problem anymore, and we can all go back to the way our lives used to be. So I have to ask you, do you want to stay here? No. Or do you want to be a better person? Whatever you've got, I'm in. And that's why I need to get into Tyler Chemicals. But what do you need there? What What's so important about Tyler Chemicals? I need the facilities. It's a simple sequence, but it's difficult to make it actually stable. But there are labs across the country. Why this one? Why the one that is being guarded so heavily right now? Because they fucked me over, and I want to get them back. Like, listen, if this is a revenge plot to just blow up their labs or something, save it for another day. If this is just that you need a lab, we can make that happen. I have my personal one that we can use right now. So what is it? Do you want to accomplish this or do you want revenge? Do you want to be a worse person? Touche. Let's go to your lab. Okay. <laughs> and true enough, she does have a lab. Uh, is it just you or do your... Super friends, uh, I was come out of hiding. Super friends along, 
<laughs> oh, there's a lot of you. Okay, um... This is a Jetta. I can fit two of you. Well, oh. no need to worry about Lin. We don't really need to worry about Dodger either, actually. Just tell me where we're going. What was your date? Eventful. No, no, not, not you, Dodger. Oh, sorry. Eventful. No, both, both of you. I mean, I want to hear all the, all the nitty gritty details. Nightwing leans over. It's kind of still going on, you know. Oh, yeah. I wasn't <laughs> sure what the protocol was, so. Hey, this like, is. Uh... Leave? Is this my intruding? I don't want to. No, 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 no. You're step. you're good. Night. This is. Was it? No, uh, is it no Nightwing? Actually. Oh, oh, that's right. Um, pleasure. And he bows down and like kisses your hand, Ashante. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Lynn and whoever's in her head, and. Uh... I'm sorry. Don't worry I'll explain it. it on the way. Listen, my old man, he talks to himself all the time. I get it. It's fine. Yeah, it's a bit more involved in that, but it's okay. We'll we'll talk about it. It's it's gonna be fine. This is Manticore and uh RX and uh RX is X. RX X <laughs> X gonna give it to you. Research partner. Yes, Ooh, I'm research God. partner. That's what we'll call me. Yes. RP. I'm sure he researched all the different parts of you. I mean... <clears throat> Look, we don't have a lot of time, so we need to get to her lab mm -hmm. to continue what we need to all right. do. Very well. We'll follow along. All right, and she gives you all the address of where you're headed, so those of you that can teleport can just teleport yourself and any others that you so need, or you can... Ride in her Jetta. I'm riding in the Jetta, man. I uh, think I'm in the Jetta, and I think the Dodger is on the back of Nightwing's motorcycle. Yeah, oh yeah, that's exactly what I where I am. Very very close. Yeah. We don't want you to fall right? off. He like does like oh, acrobatics no. with it and stuff. So. Well, I'm holding on real tight. Teleport there and just smoke, chain smoke in front of the door. Okay. Huh, is is that your nightstick? Something like that. Okay. <laughs> He's just happy to see you. So happy. All right. You all get there. Lickety split. Sorry. Uh, her house is almost like a compound. Uh, it Gates open, completely automated. There's no guards or anything. You do see a camera in the corner. Um, as you drive down the long, very long driveway, uh, you see her house. It's two stories, and it's glass walls, but like cement ceilings. How it stays up, no one knows. She doesn't throw stones, so that's always good. I guess I'm, I'm Michael Holmes, that. everybody. I'm going to just log off right now. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'd just be right outside that front door then. Yeah. The pile of cigarettes. Pile of, a small pile of cigarettes, yeah. Uh, some reason, every time you pull out a new cigarette... Uh, one reappears in your pack so you're never empty. I'm not questioning you. I know what it's called. <laughs> Always happy to help my roomie. Uh, yes, indeed. Is it better than calling you a flatty? I mean, I'm hardly flat, but thank you. Well. So yes, everyone arrives. Um, she lets you in. Kind of looks disgusted at the pile of cigarettes. It's like really ashtray something a can nothing whatever. It was intentional. Oh, I know. Powerful. <laughs> um, she lets you in and leads you down into a sub basement, uh, where her pristine lab is, and it is kitted out with the best work. And you see on the walls your work, RX. Linda's going to definitely keep smoking the whole time unless she absolutely tells her to put it out. Yeah, she's stopping you before even entering the lab if you're still smoking. And it's like, Fine. Oh, there are sensitive chemicals here. She you will ruin it. Flattered, Bethany. <laughs> Let me come show you where it was hidden the whole time. Okay. Ooh. Out of context. That's <laughs> rude. But whatever, that's the game we're playing now. Um... So I go up to context. whatever diagram she has, 
and I point to a protein strain here, and I said, see, this was encoded. If we just reverse these two points, you'll notice that they <sighs> science, science, science. Oh, my. It's right this in front of me. will trigger the metahuman gene activity in anyone who prepossesses it. So if we were to spray anyone with this, it would trigger that ability. It could or nullify Superman by having everyone be Superman. If, say, we had some sort of aerosol distribution system, then we wouldn't have to worry about doing this on an individual basis. But I need a sample to give to someone who's much smarter than you or I. Okay. I'm standing right here, darling, but I don't think you mean me. Lynn, you're more important to this than you will ever know. Uh, are you needing a sample of the serum that they use to take away a bit of human powers or the serum that you're creating? Chemical X. Okay. Um, hold on. And she goes to her vault and uh, sure enough, she has a very small sample. Is this what you needed? Well, but it's the one based on my current chemical formula, right? Right. Okay. It's residue uh, from one of your discharged canisters. Right. This should be enough. And I need X, Y, and Z things in a clean room. Okay. And she provides you everything you need to, to get this going. If this doesn't work, I'm sorry. Science montage, science montage. <laughs> Sciencing. Science. Science so again. Roll to make sure you don't, don't get blinded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Yep, we're good. Okay, you didn't get blinded by science. We're good. So I produce a tiny vial, and I imagine it's in one of those, like, little boxes where I put my arms into the gloves and I'm manipulating things that way. Oh, absolutely. And then I put it in the drawer that opens it up and I very gently take it out. It's glowing. Because of course it is. Lynn? Yes, um... I need you very carefully to take this to Dr. Isley in Canada. Quite. I would hate to sit through another montage. <laughs> um, I actually put it maybe in like a little container that's padded and I give it to her. When you're there, give me a call. We can do Zoom. We can do FaceTime. I've got them all on my phone. Whatever you want to do, whatever's convenient for her. Well, see, now that the world has pretty much ended, it's now Doom. So, Great. Hold on. Let me download Doom. Great. Uh, one small... Of course, I agree to the terms of service. Come on. One small problem. I don't have your information. You know, I, I don't see it in the news. Wait, what'd you say? I don't have your contact information, dear. <laughs> Here, let me send it to you. Oh, all right. Guess if it's for the world. See how self-sacrificing I've been lately. <laughs> and just to clarify, Dr. Isley is who we know as Poison Ivy, but that is how I'm going to refer to her. Mm. Yes, quite. I know. Okay. Well, let's make it quick. We don't have a lot of time to lose. And Lynn? Yes, darling. Thank you. Of course. I am a saint, after all. Ugh, it's so dirty. As Girl, you <laughs> Seriously, the joke is kind of wearing old, dear. Embrace your joke? hellishness. Is this a joke? I thought I was being altruistic. Can but we go Saint, now? come on. Yes, we can go. Right, that was a little bit too far. <laughs> Dodger? Yes. Before? I need you to stay here. Because I have a feeling once things start to happen, we're probably going to be an easy to find target. But Dodger, when the time comes, do you think you could get Manticore away from here? What do you mean when the time comes? 
if you had to? I think so. Isn't Manticore coming with me, or is he staying behind? Well, Manticore, that's up to you. You're my access to Elizabeth. I'm staying with you. Oh. All right, Ooh, Dodger. We got a bodyguard. I guess it's just you and I, and that's fine. Isn't that convenient? Very well. We're ready to go. All right. And she operates uh, you and, and Manticore up to Canada, where Isley is now dre- Like She's putting the last bits of her makeup on as you come through. She turns. Ah! I was expecting you this time. Ah! Welcome. I mean, um, hello. Yeah, welcome. Yes, that's my line. Thank you. I'm sorry. It's it's a little bit disorienting lately. So what is this plan of yours? Well, you see, I have a compatriot who wishes to outline that. I, have, I can bring him up on Doom. Oh, good. I've just installed that. Great. Yes. Um, she takes the piece of paper that Rx handed her and gives it to her and gives it and it's like, oh, this is not to save a number. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, he they dial you up on Doom. <laughs> oh, what a throwback! I love it. Doctor Isley, I presume. You, I don't know you. Who are you? My name is Doctor James Troy Weber. I was formerly employed by Tyler Chemicals, and for some time now, I've been known as the Petty Criminal RX. My compatriots and I ran afoul of one of the individuals that you had wrought a sort of revenge upon, and I feel that we may have crossed paths in a way that neither of us intended. You are the ones that I... ruined my garden, that's right. Yes, yes, I, I, I'm aware of you. I assure you, Doctor, I mean no disrespect. But Water I under the bridge, don't worry. I come to you today with a proposition. So soon, okay. <laughs> My teammates and I have lost a year of our lives, literally in hell, thanks to the individual known as John Constantine. Oh, that prick. Okay, go on. And in that intervening time, we understand that the status quo of the world that we left has changed substantially. Would you say that's correct? I own Canada, so what do you think? I understand they have some lovely real estate up there. You're very Not lucky. more. <laughs> Doctor, the main issue at hand is there is no one to oppose Superman from his reign of the world, and I can't... As we would say in the scientific community, and I'm sure you understand, that is suboptimal. Right. Thanks to research that I had done, the metahumans of our world have had their powers removed. And that is damage that I feel... We got you to thank for that? I kept my secrets of my research a bit too close to my chest, thinking that perhaps I wasn't as clever as I thought. As it turns out, I was as clever as I thought. Lynn, can you present the doctor with a sample? Yeah, she'll take it out. What is this? The secret of the ooze? Talk. It's the secret of Nim, actually. Wait, I remember seeing that film at my grandma's house. <laughs> Are you a fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies as well? Oh, I'm a Mikey girl. You know how it is. I... This is embarrassing to admit, Doctor, but I had the single of the Vanilla Ice song. It was my favorite. I can, played... can we get back to the science here? Oh, oh sorry. sorry. Yes, right. yes. There'll be time for that later. Doctor, what I propose is this. You are... Well, you're a genius of a level that I will never, ever be. But I am not a botanist. I'm a chemist. However... I propose that you can synthesize this sample into something that your plants can ingest and then disperse as some sort of pollen or aerosol. It will be carried on the wind and it will trigger the metahuman genes in anyone who possesses them, meaning that we will literally have bil millions, if not billions of people 
who can stand against Superman and hopefully return order to the world. I would have my own metahuman army. Thank you for this. I mean, that I have a weather wizard in the next room, and he can definitely help accelerate this. That is one way of looking at it, Doctor. I mean, you've given this to me, and as you said, I can disperse this through an aerosol, and why don't I also lace it with my IV uh, toxins and allow me to control them? Because we don't think you're that bad of a person. Hmm. It's been a long year, and she hands it to a root that's uh, grown out behind her. and It takes the vial and disappears into the shrubbery. Mason, I'm going to make you a deal. I'm going to roll one die. Evens, yes. Odd is no. Okay. And it's an even. <laughs> Keep going. I'm, I'm going somewhere with this. And... I'm okay. Be talking with you here in a second. I'm gonna buckle in for this ride. Mm -hmm. hey. Well, like you said, it is thanks to you and your friends. I don't know what they are. Whatever. Um, we've lost most of the world. So yes, I think I will take this, and yes, I will distribute it. Uh, and I will kill the Superman. And you will have a new queen, a green queen, will be beautiful and terrible. Seems reasonable. Well, as I said, Doctor, I am not a botanist, but I do understand basic cellular structure. More important, I understand virology. So, I built in a bit of a failsafe here. Whatever it is, I'm sure my plant's proteins can break it down and repurpose oh, it. Yes, I'm sure. I, I'm sure it's nothing that you can't handle. So I ask for your favor and your clemency and your help in distributing it. I'll help you distribute it. We'll see where it goes from there. Very well. Thank you, Doctor. Thank well. you. Look, all I ask is that you make sure that there's plenty of parties and nightclubs open if we do build the world. Yeah. Oh, sweetie, it'll turn into our own Garden of Eden. Nobody has to walk around wearing a mask and we can just hug our friends whenever we want. That's oh. right. Oh, no so more happy. superheroes, so no one will have to wear a mask because we'll all be super is what you meant. Because that thing never happened in this world. Yep. <laughs> and when everybody's super... <laughs> No, but... <laughs> exactly <laughs> so yeah with that the uh you almost immediately uh plants start to sprout up around gotham and they begin to work their way south uh and these purple flowers just kind of plume out this green mist and sure enough metahumans are activated everywhere and it throws the entire system into chaos. What is your plan from here, Michael? Well, basically, I propose that I put in something to neutralize the ivy toxin so that she didn't have a way to control them. Okay. Um, Did you? Yeah. That's okay. that's what that die roll I had was. Perfect. That was the yes-no. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so yeah, she goes to exert her control, and no one listens because yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, she didn't account for it, and the toxin spreads. Super metahumans are sprouting up everywhere, literally, without anyone's control, and no one understands their powers. And it's chaos. It may <laughs> be worse than it was. Uh, complete and total anarchy. Uh, Superman's got his hands full with everything going on. The drones are easily overwhelmed. Um, what would you like to do in this ensuing chaos? No one has come to you because, you know, you've kind of taken a handful of ice chips and thrown into the hot oil. So uh, that's happening. 
See, this is why I play checkers and not chess. <laughs> um, Should we just grab some kryptonite and take it to this? Well, with enough super beings, they might be able to just overwhelm Superman at this point. I mean, and now you definitely have enough if now they're getting pissed. So you can all kick back and watch the end of uh, his reign. Are we just chilling out at Ivy's place, Manticore? Or do you want to... <laughs> oh. you want to go back to my sanctum? We can just pop back in there. We don't have to stay here. This is getting real ugly real quick. That sounds, that sounds lovely. I think so Ivy's funny. getting, uh, probably would turn on us as too as soon as she realizes that the oh yeah the thingy isn't working yep. I mean, I so. that. yeah uh, but she, like she cares <laughs> that we're, we're still there <laughs> yeah back at the so I think, go ahead i was just gonna say so i think hightailing it into the uh interdimensional space is probably a good idea sounds like a good idea to me dodger i have a proposition for you i'm listening you, do you have any sort of controlling stake in Dawkins at this point? Not much. None, because you were stripped of your everything before you left the family mm -hmm. gathering. Well, and he was also probably legally dead for a year. Sure. That too. So that not much was sarcastic. Just about none. Um, not much left to lose. Why? What do you have in mind? Well, I propose a hostile takeover of Dawkins' chemicals by somebody who is proposed to be dead. You emerge as the victor. We go public with an antidote to this wildly unstable mutation that was caused by the medication that was originally designed to strip people of their powers. And we bring balance to this situation. I think that's doable. I think that's absolutely doable. Especially if my poor brother to meet some unfortunate end. Indeed. So you're all heading to uh, Tyler Chemicals, now Dawkins Chemicals, uh, before MetaHumans rally to tear it down? Yep. Do they, do they want our help? Or... I don't know. If only you saved their phone number. <laughs> Shame, but I'm sure Manticore has it. Yeah. <laughs> Back up Manticore, yes. She will have saved Ivy's phone number and she will say send a message like, I didn't have anything to do with that antidote. It is just a, a flurry of angry text, uh, so much so that it kills the battery of your phone. And if you turn <laughs> it on, it immediately lights up and just stays that way for a while. She can silence the notifications and eventually she'll be like, XOXO, kissy face. And it's like, we're even now. <laughs> Lynn, can I ask a favor? Yes, darling. Send Dr. Isley, send Dr. Isley an uh, edible arrangement, if you would. Oh, sure. Do you, should we use Amazon? There's a fuck you. I think I still have that free trial. <laughs> yeah, you get the, uh, use a mother as the code. You get 15% off. You're good. <laughs> You arrange it as a middle finger, you know, with pineapple in the middle, and then, you know, the chocolate covered strawberries as the knuckles. Dodger, Love you it. you emerge as the clear voice of Dawkins saying that you want to undo the harm that your family has done. And we all get rich. That's the point, isn't it? Yes, and if we control the flow of all supers, the get granting or taking away powers, it's like we're gods now. I like all of this, but I do have one stipulation. Yes. We can't charge people for this antidote. God, no. But being Business men, we're not monsters. I'm <laughs> sorry, I misunderstood as to what you meant by we get rich. Okay, I redcon that to say something that's actually makes sense. Oh, it's all good. Okay. Well, okay. what makes you think people would want to give up their powers? That's true. We offer them the option. Perhaps for some it's too much. Perhaps for some they want to keep them. Perhaps we offer training 
on how to use these newly enhanced powers, but you take responsibility. You are the public face of this new, immense superhuman population. I'm all for giving them freedom of choice. If we took that away from them, I'd be no better than my father. Well, the gene was already there, so you just brought it out. So I think we have an agreement. Oh, good. Where are we going? Hmm. Dawkins Chemicals, is it? Evidently. Executive suite, or are we landing at the ground floor and making an entrance? No, let's just go right to the executive suite to make an entrance there. Oh, boo. That's no fun. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a few. Oh, let's right outside, and then we can shoot a few guys in the head. Dodger, what do you think? Anyone, please. What was that? Executive suite. I don't want to hurt anybody else. Mm-hmm. I've got one name on my list. Fine. I have, I have at least ten. Well, fine. you're not getting them tonight. Fine, fine. <laughs> Here we go. Don't, don't, don't. Technically, you have two because you have to take out the other brother as well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to meta that. That's not Manticore. That's me. He has no. He barely has two brain cells to rub together. He'll do what I say. It's true. Donnie always was kind of um, pliable. Not to mention his shares aren't actually kicking until he's 25. Thank you to sweet it is, man. All right. Uh, in an instant, you are all apparated over there. Green smoke curling around you. Uh, as you see your brother panicked, terrified, um... He is in the uh, the boardroom itself. His shirt is unbuttoned. The tie is loose. He's not wearing a jacket. Uh, he's freaking out. Noah? Noah, is that you? Oh my God. Surprise! The ghost of brothers past. Well, Someone's well, been very naughty. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm trying to keep this thing under control. And now supers are everywhere. Yeah, you have no control. We've taken that from you. We've taken this world that you tried to take over we, we, and what, freed what, what it. What do you mean you, you, you took control? What does that even mean? It doesn't matter much. You're not going to be around long enough to suss it out. Oh, you wouldn't kill your own family. I mean, come on. Oh, like you did. I suppose... Yeah. You don't care where I've been the past year. Uh, Let's just say... Just then, mm -hmm. the door opens. And he's like, okay, well, I don't think they have uh, the wine you're looking for, but they got some Pinot Grigio, and it's your other brother, Don. Don. Good to see you. Ethan, he drops... Or, not Ethan, sorry. Noah, he (laughs) drops the bottles, and he runs over, and he goes to tackle you, give you a big old bear hug. Way stronger than he looks. And he I already interpose looks myself. Oh no. Okay. And he bounces off your chest. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, you're his friend. No, I'm wearing the mask. I'm, oh, uh, I'm masked. Yeah. Oh, do you brought the cowardly lion? Who is this? It doesn't matter, Donnie. Wh- where you been? You missed mom's funeral. Yeah, thanks for the invite. And the notification that she died. Where was where were we gonna send it? Australia? Come on. <laughs> it's not like you kind work. of you fell off the grid, man. I wasn't looking for you. Ethan said he couldn't get a hold of you. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't find you anywhere. I sent three she... ships in different directions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the three fastest ships. Fast ships. I am here to set right what you did wrong. What what did I do? And I don't just mean this marriage between you and Tyler Chemicals. I mean everything. Everything this family has done wrong. What What are you talking about, Noah? 
I'm here to take over. You're done. <laughs> well, you know I don't get these shares for a few more years, so I don't really have any stake in this one. That's that's good, Don. Uh, Don, why don't you uh? You should probably get out of here. Uh, why? I missed you. You've been gone. I'm sure Ethan. Yeah. Well, Ethan looks like to he's edging his later. way towards the door. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna toss a dagger at him, not to stab him yet, but to stop him from scooting closer to the door. Okay. Uh, you're a hero. You're practiced. You, bing, sticks in the wall just where his hand is, and he stops. Stay right where you are. I was gonna get ice for the wine. I mean, <laughs> you know, to chill it, to celebrate. You're coming back. I'm gonna go and block the door and just stand in front. <laughs> Cute, Missy. So, tell me, Ethan, how'd you do it? Poison. I can't imagine you got yourself your hands bloody with a gun or a knife. I'm sorry. No, you got to be real specific about what you're talking about or who. Mom. <laughs> oh, mom. Ah, uh, my. It. She <laughs> fell. Ah, uh, it was tragic. She was at the top of the stairs, and you know how old people are. You know, she just. You know, I told her she should have got one of those little rail things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's amazing how easy it is for someone to misstep and fall right i mean i told them just stay on the first floor and they're like no we want the second floor uh yeah we're gonna do it uh i am going to rush him okay and attempt to push him through the window all right you don't even need to make a check for this again you are skilled he is a businessman and a, a I mean, the most work he's done is walking to his car from his office. So, yeah, he hits the window. Are you aiming to push him through? Yeah, I am aiming to... I want the poetic justice of him falling the way that he killed Mom. I want that that bookend. Okay. Uh, you hit the window. Now, is Nightwing with you? No. Okay. I don't think so. No. All right. You hit the window, it cracks before giving way. Your momentum is pushed forward. You will need a check to stabilize yourself and prevent yourself from falling. Sure. Uh, would acrobatics help me out here? Absolutely. Okay. Can I assist? Try and I grab kid him. you not, two sixes and a five. Two sixes and a five. It is, you can even describe this. Go for it. It's, I think he uh, just charges him. Um, as he gets up close to, to him, as he's pushing him through the window, he manages to get out, say it a mom for me, as he throws him as the glass shatters. Yes, very much the Disney death down to the bottom. Uh, you see the shards hit, you know. He's just a silhouette. And then cats start chewing on him and he comes back as Catman. Oh no. <laughs> um, no. No. Yeah, the, the demons from uh, Ghost. <laughs> Actually, yes. Uh, Lynn, you get a weird feeling like a portal has been opened uh, and looking, your eyes are drawn down to where his brother landed dodger i'm sure you haven't taken your eyes off of him you see hands come up and grab onto your brother <laughs> and pull him into hell yeah they're your mother's hands they are your mother's <laughs> hands yes nick i love you. it yeah you see her classic ring that she's always worn real gaudy Big piece fan. and she yeah she pulls him into hell and i'll just still looking out the window i'll just say Don, I think we need someone to come in here and fix this window. It looks like Ethan couldn't take it. Yeah, the the stress got to him, it looks like. Sh 
shame that stress. It's a real killer. Where's dad? He's in the next room sleeping. I'll tell him when he wakes up in the morning. That'd be smart, but we gotta worry about the defenses. I mean, there's a reason he was freaking out. Metahumans are banging down the door. I don't foresee that being much of an issue. Really? I mean, they do. You ever seen Mob Justice? It doesn't get pretty. All we need to do is last the night. We'll have a press conference in the morning. Bro, we were gassing up the jet to get out of here. We should probably amscray. If they if they come through, they're going to tear this entire place down. And who knows what some of the powers they have. Some guy's shooting freaking laser beams out of his eyes. We're not leaving. Bro, seriously. I, I know I'm not the smart one, but like staying here, it's suicide. Like, we, we have no claim to this. People blame us for them losing their superheroes. And the person responsible is dead. You think that's going to matter to them? <laughs> you think the waitstaff got off in France? No, buddy. They all were executed. And especially <laughs> you sitting in the boardroom. I could just teleport us all out of here, but maybe for some of your family there's a price. What? What is this friggin' chick talking about? Rx, what are your thoughts? This was your plan. How soon can we get the news out there that we're here to help? Wow. Right yeah. now, no news is really getting out, except for shit's cray. Stay indoors. Avoid these types of plants, because they give you superpowers, and people are rushing to them to get superpowers. <laughs> We're staying. We're staying. I'm not abandoning these people. Okay. This Morgana chimes in just to you, Nikki. Just to you, Lynn. Okay, these all may have death wishes, but I don't. I don't think we should stay, dear. No, do I. But this part of the soul is possibly on my list. Unless we want to go off and come something. Again, with your worrying about Constantine, he's a magician. He'll show up when he wants something, dear. No, I meant to I meant to trade him for my dad. I'm sorry? You know, capture him, trade him for the debt that I owe. Right. I'm saying why chase the mouse when the mouse will come to you? You are a delicious piece of cheese. Mm -hmm. And he's going to need something eventually. Yes, I suppose. So do you think we should nab his father's soul, or...? Yes, I mean, they're plenty distracted with what's going on here. You can go in the next room and corrupt them. That might be a good idea. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dodger, I think I'm going to be heading out, though. If you need help with a fight or something, otherwise I'm going to go sleep at that sanctum. Um... I've been rather altruistic lately, so can't let that go in my head too much, you know. But if you need help, just, you know, give me a ring and tell me who it is, because I don't... I know. don't need to do a ring. We're gonna need help. Uh, well, I don't really want to die with just the thing of I, I thought you couldn't die. I thought you were a demon. Oh, yeah, I can't. But I don't really want to regenerate my body defending a house. <laughs> So that's it then? You're just gonna leave us when we need to be together the most? Why do we need to defend the house? Why can't we just make an announcement or something at a later time when there's not an angry mob barging down the door? You because we're here to help people. How is it helping people by making a press conference during the middle of a mob? Just wait for the mob to be over, make the press conference. You think this mob is going to just die out? Well, possibly. Some of them are definitely going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that 
really important. You know, Constantine might have been right about you after all. Sorry, I have done a lot to help you and your family as well as everyone else. <clears throat> yes, and you've always gotten something out of it. Have I now? What have I got? Money. Not particularly. We split that. Go on. Chaos. I don't really care about chaos. I care about free will. It's different now. <clears throat> Listen. <sighs> We all need to stick together or we're gonna or, 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 or we're gonna lose separately. So is it important to save this building, Dodger? Because if you let the if you let the mob have it, then does does it matter? Is it important? Because we can get out of here, we can take your brother and your father and we can go. Well, if yeah. if if that's going to be a problem. If you need to have the building, then fine, we can stay. But if we stay, then Lynn, you need to stay with us as our friend. Uh, the building shakes as the power goes out. We think. We go. We save the family that you want to save, Dodger. We make her press conference on another day, saying that those were mistakes of those that came before us including everything plant-wise. We'll figure something out with that. And we're here to help whoever remains in whatever way we can. Give them a chance to be angry and to get it out of their system. Yes, you want to fight and kill the people that you want to save? It seems I don't want to kill anyone. And I realize what I have done, but it, God help me, it was for the right reasons. Oh, God has nothing to do with this, darling. <laughs> You guys are right. I'm holding too much power in a building. All right, let's get out of here. I'll go get dad. Um, I'd like a toll for your father, if that's all right. You'd like a what? Just a toll, you know. Just to speak to him at some point, that's all I ask. Which one of you? Well, we're all going to be on the plane, and he's currently asleep, which is why I'd like him to stay for a minute. No, just later. That's fine. <laughs> he's going to just shake his head and start getting preparations done. Okay. Uh, Donnie is very confused. He's like, what do you mean go? The jet is, is that way. Where are we going? What are we doing? Then we will... Where were you going to go? Where was the jet going? Cancun. Far away from Ivy and her little... Pss, pss, things. Back to my new place. <sighs> Is there someplace safe we can go? Aside from Cancun. I just uh, proposed. I mean, we got a compound there. I mean, like Ethan before his untimely demise, um, he really stocked up Cancun for us. It's a it's a friggin' fortress. It's got his own private army there. I mean, you have your own private army there. You can do a lot with that. All right, let's go to Cancun. We can at least make the press conference there. We can get back here as soon as possible. Going the slow way around. Oh, joy. All right. And so you all take off to Cancun uh, on the jet. Uh, who goes on the jet and who goes back to the Sanctum? We'll go on the jet. Uh, I'll meet you there. And then I, I teleport in later to the sanctum and then i'll teleport later to his father's private room for a little conversation okay <laughs> totally fine all right uh so manticore are you going with in i the think i'm probably going to the sanctum okay you're gonna go into the sanctum and hang out there all right uh yeah 
I mean, I, I'm not... Manticore doesn't know what Nick knows about <laughs> Lynn's motives, yeah. so uh, he's not going to be there to, to babysit, and if and he wouldn't feel comfortable getting on the plane and flying away if Lynn is not going that way as well. Absolutely. Makes total sense. Yeah. Or yeah. Morgana, rather. That's Mor- Morgana insists, I think, that she, Manticore can stay there until that she's ready to come back. But she'll go try to go herself to the plane and back, and then be like, later she'll like, Manticore, are you ready to go to Kangaroo to meet up with you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so you're letting Manticore into the Sanctum? Yeah. Okay. Well, Why we have no use for? She would make a good hostage. No, we don't need that. No, he's already going to hell anyways. What, sweetie? Yes, hell eventually is a thing, but we're here now and in the moments. No, Regardless. I mean, I'm trying to pay off my debt. You have till the solstice. That's plenty of time. Oh, do you want to be stuck in customer relations? We'll figure it out. Regardless, we're good. I mean, Manticore, he's not going to hell. Same for Dodger. We could work on them for however what? long. I'm pretty sure they're going to hell. Are you sure? No, they're, they're innocence, love. The only oh. one that's got a stain. Well, never mind, Dodger isn't anymore. But Rx, him Dodger's as well. definitely going to hell. Rx is questionable, but... No, Rx is, he's already paid his ticket. He's got a seat reserved. He knows what he did. Oh, so that's two of them that are going to have. So Manticore is a maid. Manticore is of innocence. He's only done what he needs to to protect his sister. Well, that's maybe two then, if I can get the dad. But you didn't do... They made their own ways for hell. The deal is you need to corrupt someone. And Manticore, (laughs) if you have his sister... I'm just saying. Mm, that's fair. So maybe that's three. So the father, Manticore, and the sister. Oh, yes. If we can teach her magics. Oh, that's delicious. I love that, dear. Maybe we could just propose that we would... She shouldn't be so defenseless in this world. It's such a dangerous and wild world. She should have, be I, armed. In fact, Manticore might trade his soul just for the opportunity for us to help protect her. Absolutely right. I love working with you. This is going to be a beautiful partnership. I think this is actually a very good partnership so far. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm no, no, it all makes sense. I'm, you know, I'm okay. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So that happened. Okay. So, uh, Manticore, you go to the Sanctum, uh, you're allowed in there, the rest of you go oh, fly off to Cancun. Uh, Noah, do you get some shut-eye in, in your seat, or do you stay with your dad? What do you do? Mind you, you don't know Lynn. Right, I don't know anything about Lynn. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to send Nightwing some text, just get up to giving him. Had to step away, family business, handling things. Uh, keep an eye on the news tomorrow. Miss you. Replies back with the same thing. Um, and then, yeah, I'll get some shut eye. Okay. That night, the old man is alone in his room as Lynn apparates in there. They're flying to Cancun, so it's going to be a couple hours at least, at least five or six. He's dead asleep. What do you do? Oh, um subtly wake him up and then like sit in the chair like ominously <laughs> oh oh where are okay. we in Tyler uh, Dawkins chemicals still where are we no darling you're on the way to Cancun you see I managed to help save your family oh well, that's good yeah. uh, how did you save them well you see we got you out of there there's quite a few people who wanted you dead but why? I haven't ran the company in, in a year. It's all been Ethan oh. has been in charge. You see, it's been exposed that your son Ethan was quite behind a lot of the nefarious things going on, and they wanted blood. Well, there was nothing really to expose. He was very public and took all the credit, even when he shouldn't have. 
But Including that's... Murders? Murders? I'm sorry? We killed your wife. What's wrong? Oh. Did he? He did, in fact. Um, but I can help you see her again if you wish. Someday. I'm not offering to kill you. Yeah. What, what, how, how can you help me see my wife? Puff paper and like a little quill and said, so just sign here and it will be guaranteed that you will be able to see her again once you eventually die. You will be reunited as a well. Oh, of course, I, I, I love her despite her rough edges. Of course, but and you must promise me one thing, and it's very important. Oh, what's that? You will never tell anyone that we met and had this conversation. I don't even know who you are. I've never met you before today. In, ca in case you ever see me again, you will never speak of it. You will never tell anyone that you had this conversation with anyone. If you do, the contract. Hmm. Well, you might go straight to see her a little bit sooner than anticipated. Is that all right? But isn't that what I want? I, I want to see her. Not right now. That would require you dying. I don't think you want to die right now, do you? Well, how would you feel learning that your son's a murderer and well, your other son is dead? that's completely up to you, she says. And she puts the knife that she took from Dodger back all those episodes ago <laughs> next to him. Very so, good. <laughs> this was my son's. I miss yeah. him. Noah, he was a good good child. He is on the plane now. You can be reunited with him and live a happy life. And at the end of it, you can go see your wife. But He's alive? Where is he? Ethan said he died. Shh. He is alive. And I'm giving this all to you. Just sign here. But what are you giving me? You said he's alive. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm confused. The, I am reuniting you with your wife. Let me die. Can't, can't I see her now? You would have to die, dear. I mean, without dying. I mean, of course I know we'll be reunited in, in heaven. She'll be there waiting for me. Oh, dear. You think you're going to heaven? Well, wherever it'll be, I know she'll be there. Hmm. No, you see, you're not going to heaven. She's already in heaven, though, so this will get you into heaven. Just sign here. What? Well, it's her own kind of heaven, let's just say. He seems very confused, and he didn't get this far as a businessman just by signing random contracts from beautiful women that appear in his room at the middle of the night. Hey, come on, Dad. <laughs> he may be old, but he's not an idiot. Uh... I don't think so, dear. I mean, if it's when I die, then it's when I die. And if it's meant to be, I will see her. I will. But you won't. You'll never see her again otherwise. Oh, well. And she starts folding it up. If that's how you want, you never want to be reunited. I mean, you can't come in here and just make claims that you know things without a shred of proof. How did you get into my room? Who let you in here? Donnie? He's gonna start, Ethan? He's gonna start, her eyes, went before before he starts, like, as soon as he's questioning and starting to escalate, she'll, like, her eyes will start to glow. Uh -huh. And she'll start to, like, let some of her demonic appearance out. Okay. And she'll be like, oh, proof do I need? Oh. And he panics. And dies. God damn it. <laughs> you appeared in an old man's it. room in the middle of the night <laughs> and they reveal that you're a demon. The negotiations will be short. Well, they were. <laughs> well, I tried. Is there so, any way for me to check if he's in hell or not? <laughs> <laughs> he is not in hell, no. God damn it. Ah. <laughs> uh, she, she just takes the knife back and puts it in. She's like, well, she puts him back in bed. Well, I guess he passed away in his sleep. Oh, bother. She's got a face of... <laughs> she kind of like <laughs> tries to reset his face a little bit. Oh, this, this went terribly, dear. <laughs> this is what happens no. when you get too greedy. The low-hanging fruit, leave it be. 
you're right, you're right. I just, I don't do this kind of thing, you know? I'm not one of those demons. It's okay, I'll teach you the waves of corruption. We'll get there. And corruption is one thing, but I like to think people have their own choices. Hey, we have two in our pocket already. Let's work on those and we'll go from there. Fine, fine. Let's see. Let's go back. And you go back. <laughs> you make the announcement the next day. You find your father passed in his sleep. His face relaxes into a more natural pose giving him a bit of dignity mm-hmm. in his passing uh you are now the sole well not sole heir but you are the rightful heir of dawkins industry uh replacing your mother's name replacing tyler chemicals and with rx's help you are able to make this formula to normalize society if people choose uh Manticore, you and your sisters stay in the Sanctum for a while. The offers are made. How that plays out, no one really knows. <laughs> uh, Story for another time. Exactly. RX, you get the acclaim that you rightfully deserve for your uh, for your work. And, uh, yeah, Lynn, you are on your path to becoming the next villain of the Ark. I can <laughs> um, <laughs> Chaos yep. reigns. This is a. Uh, this is closer to like Kingdom Come than uh, anything else. So that's the world we live in, where everything is kept in a status quo, and it's maddening. Nothing gets better, but nothing gets worse. Yep. <clears throat> and that has been Shades of Gotham. Uh, hey everybody. <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> da, 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 da. Ha! <laughs> I've been your host, Jameson GM Mace. Uh, Thank you for joining me on this journey, joining us on this journey. It has been literally a trip. Uh, Let's go around the table and everyone tell us where they can get more of you. Let's start in reverse order. Let's go to RX. All right. So I've been Michael Robert Holmes. I plan on continuing to be Michael Robert Holmes. You can find me on uh, Twitter at MRH underscore three E. You can find me on Instagram at Michael R. Holmes. Uh, through the month of December, you can hear me on the Games We Never Play podcast. And I don't know what 2021 holds just yet. I hear the end racism, so that's good. No, well, good. I'm, I'm all for that. Mm-hmm. I will pay as much money as possible for that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Next up, we also got Lynn. You've been wonderful. I am once in future at Nikki Wan, W-A-L-N, and you can find me Corrupting Souls on Twitter at Nikki Wan, <laughs> uh, where I also, besides Corrupting Souls, will post video game reviews or random articles, retweets, whatever. And then, yeah, check them out. Dope. Or don't. <laughs> oh, we know they will. Dodge your work and they get more of you, sir. Well, that was fun. Who's the Chinese? <laughs> <laughs> um, I am Joey Nestra. You can find me on all the socials at Joey Nestra. Uh, you can catch me every Saturday morning on It's Probably Okay Switch Channel playing Silence in the Force, which is our hack of Jason Mills' Demigods game, nicknamed Jedi Gods, where you can see me play an actually morally good character, um, as opposed to this, which was just a wonderful dystopian nightmare of myself, <laughs> um, which is also fun to do. Role playing games are amazing. Um, also, hoping for more stuff in 2021. Keep your ears and eyes posted to the socials, and hopefully, see you in the next year. Yep. And last but definitely not least, Manticore. Hey, everyone. I'm uh, Nick Levy, and you can find me on the socials at SunGrowler. Uh, that will be both Instagram and Twitter. Uh, don't follow me on Instagram because I never post anything or log into that site. But. It's available if for some reason you want to. I am also appearing on uh, Happy Jack's RPG Network on alternating Monday nights in a game called Stone Top, which is a uh, dungeon world game, which is sort of a hack of Apocalypse World. And it is, uh, we just had our session zero, so you can get in on the ground floor if you start in a couple Mondays, and uh, we'd love to have you there. That's awesome. What That would be, uh, let's see, the... 21st or the 14th? Uh, the 21st is right. our session one. 21st Happy Jacks RPGs. Great. For session one. So you can get on there. Uh, 
This game is played with dice. You need dice. Go buy dice. Get more dice. You have dice. You don't have enough dice. Go to DiceEnvy.com slash GWNP and use GWNP at checkout for 10% off your first order. The Edgelord Boss dice are back in stock, and I am very pleased because they are dope. Dice. Dice. Need them. All right. I'll see you all next time. Make sure to like, follow, subscribe, and we'll see you somewhere. Bye, all. Bye. Bye. Bye.